Hello, little lovelies, and welcome to another Mad Lib Monday. Hope you are all doing well. Hope your Mondays have been good. Mine has been pretty good so far. Um, been a bit of a busy day at work, but that's not bad necessarily. So, yes, hope you are all great. Um, yeah, welcome to another uh, live stream. So, um, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, Today, we are going to be building. <laughs> Hi, Mark. <laughs> hey, Mark's right in there. Hey, um, so Steve. Hi, how are you doing? So, yeah, um, today we're going to be building the turtle van from the Dream Set. Um, very excited. This is a fan favorite uh, for Dreams fans. So, yeah, very excited to build this one. Uh, not too many pieces, five bags, so it shouldn't take all evening. Um, yeah, and uh, before we get into <laughs> yeah, before we get into it, <laughs> Steve's just saying, Mark, why are you on YouTube? <laughs> um, Mark's just saying, love the set. Yes, it is a beautiful set. Uh, before we get into the actual builds, I just want to say, uh, show you quickly what I got from the Easter sale. So I did pick up. A couple of dream sets from the Easter sale, and they are the crocodile car and oops, hit the table, Mr. Oz's space bus. I'm very excited about this one. There's lots of fun characters in this one. So, um, yeah, so two more to add to the build list for uh, dreams. So it might turn into a dreams term rather than a dreams month. <laughs> so yeah. Um, oh, and here we go. Mark's switched to the purple side. Why indeed? <laughs> Bless. I mean, you can watch on both. I don't mind. That gets my viewing figures up. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Do that. Hit the thumbs up. Like the stream. Uh, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you've not already, and turn on that bell notification. Yeah, so we are going to get into building this lovely set. So let's get the build come up here. Here we go. So as always, uh, with these sets, there are some beautiful illustrations in the book. Um, yeah, quite like Mrs. Castillo. I think she's a really nice character. And this is the second one. We got the first one of Mrs. Costello in the last build, which was the uh, Stable of Dream Creatures, which is a very, very cute set. So there we go. Put you over here. And we'll start building Mrs. Costello. So how is everybody's Monday going? Hope you're all good. As I say, I was a bit busy, but... Not not always a bad thing sometimes. Does it make the Monday go quicker? Um, and like, yeah, just busy constant, not busy stressful. So that's good. Busy stressful will come later in the year. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, the puppy might be in and out of the room. So if you hear any little tipper taps, that's, uh, that's going to be Cosmo popping in and out because uh, Cole's just popped out to the shop. So I have to have the door open to let him. Make sure I'm still here. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Mark's been busy AF. Oh, bless. I know. Well, you know, like I say, being busy just makes the time fly until we can get back home, and play with some Lego. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's a bit different to the last one. Slight difference in this one. The last one did have an ingot on, and then the top, I think it was um, a different piece. It wasn't this like one by two loaf piece. It was a different piece on the top of the last back. I think she had a clip because she could clip something on, but yes. Anyway. Oh, we still get to make a like dream staff thing, though, so that's cool. So, yeah, so here she is. Always lovely as usual, Mrs. Castillo. Such a fun character. And again, love that like big old backpack on her. That's pretty much me everywhere. I go everywhere with my backpack. Don't leave home without it. But 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah. Um. What's been going on? What has been going on in the world of Lego? We've recently had. Um. Well, just today I've seen actually in our little chat, a little private chat going on on Instagram with a few uh, AFOLs, and there's a. Uh, just seen the uh, sheet for the D and D CMFs, so um, it's quite cool. Looks quite interesting. Um, as uh, somebody who's just this past year started buying CMFs, buy the box. Um, I will probably get that as well. Um, but we do have a space set CM CMF coming out soon, soon, maybe in the next month or so. So we have the space one first, and then I think uh, Chris said in the chat that I think it was September when the D&D CMFs are due out. So, yeah, obviously um, to go in line with the D&D the &D set that's coming out. Oh, my God. Is this Mr. Mark coming on in? Okay, guys, get ready. Oh, no, look, we're way too small there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tiny. I know, teeny tiny. Hang on, let me adjust this. Let me do. Uh... Hey, there we go. That's a bit better. Do. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing, Mark? Yeah, yeah. Tired, but I just wolfed some food down. So. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I haven't eaten today yet. In my weird ways. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'll eat later. <laughs> you know, like midnight. <laughs> you know, so yeah. Well, this I, I I love dreams as you know this this set is just amazing. Yeah, well, I knew this I knew this was going to be like a fan favorite because mm -hmm. um, I think it did do very very well um, in the shops. So yeah, it was kind of a bit of a no brainer to kind of pick this one next. I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, but um. Yeah, are you building anything, or are you just coming in for a um, good old chin wag? <laughs> probably, probably a chin wag for now. I mean, I've got some stuff that needs sorting, like literally. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Like you, oh, your entire bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> more so, more so that there were sets that were sorted. Um, okay. and so I've got the pieces that need to go away. So they are pre-sorted. It looks worse than it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I literally just came in, dumped my bag, food. Yeah. Um, okay. So this literally is as real as it's going to get in yeah, terms of what it looks like on a normal basis. Yeah. <laughs> she the real this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the this is the fresh from fresh from work, just eaten face. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah. Like that's that's what I think. Like I don't really give myself a lot of time. I do finish at four. And I do get back mm. relatively quick, but mm -hmm. then like setting up and everything, it's like I say, this it, this setup isn't permanent. So it's like grab things, put them up, get everything ready, do the Insta post, and then just like get on. And it's like yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so I don't, uh, I, yeah, I don't stop, <laughs> but it's fine. It's all good. I like Mondays. Mondays I seem to get more engagement, and I like that. I like that. Um. And I want to like, yeah. obviously, you know. I think as well that most people like to, um, in the evening time, they like to de-stress and relax. So exactly, um, and that's the stream on in the background because you kind of found your 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 um, time slot that works for you, which is awesome. And when yeah. you find it, you just like hold on to it, and it's like this is my slot now. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I thought, well, you know, the alliteration, Mad Lib Mondays, and then mm. I mean, I'm not going to sing again, but I thought about that song like. Just another Mad Lib Monday. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was like, I need to get I mean, that tune made. You know, <laughs> I was going to say, you know, you've got a jingle already. It's yeah. it sounds like you've got it all food up, mate. Just have yeah. it play yeah. as it comes in instead of the intro countdown. You just yes. have that play instead. That's it. Getting everyone, uh, getting everyone in there. Good, good vibes. Good moods. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Bless. Yeah. Um. How was uh, 
How is your um? Da -da 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 -da. What's the word I'm after? <laughs> Animal Crossing. Have you have you displayed them? Are they out or are they uh, all on your desk? Okay, so uh, they are. They're still on my desk from yesterday. That is how uh, much I've done since yesterday. So <laughs> the I, so there we go. So that is yay Julian's birthday. There they all, all are. Guests. Yeah. <laughs> Julian's birthday party. There, there's Julian for you again. Oh, bless. Yeah, I do like Julian. I yeah. think he's wonderful. Yeah. So <clears throat> we're just kind of coming up with concepts. So sort of like looking at the figure and thinking, which theme do I do I take with that particular character? But then we've got, I've still got everything from yesterday still on my desk. So I still have Rouge. Oh, yes, 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 yeah who dan loves with her sass yeah. face with a sassy face, yeah yeah <laughs> although, although to be fair we're on your stream so i can be a bit more no i'm not going to swear or anything but, um, <gasps> no i'm watching. not <laughs> i know but um what i was what i was trying to say is um if you have you played the sonic games do you know the character i've played bits i'm not like massive sonic uh yeah. i've played like one and two on the old sega master systems and stuff yeah uh, so the the original ones yeah. so she comes so she comes in the one of the 3d adventure games so um, mm -hmm. sonic adventure 2 and uh yeah she's supposed to have um i mean being subtle as a brick the <laughs> character they were obviously um seeing if they could introduce jiggle physics into sonic adventure oh if you catch my drift yes so that character is okay. an accurate representation except there are a couple of uh assets missing okay was um was uh laura croft quite popular at the time <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> yes um <laughs> for some some strange reason that seemed to be the uh two driving forces <laughs> mm. <laughs> but but the um it's hilarious because when you watch back videos on the internet because you know yeah. what the internet's like they like to ridicule the hell out of it um they say why did this game need jiggle physics yeah yeah she's a it's, bat yeah especially aimed at uh, uh, sm smaller children <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah not quite sure they understand anything about that apart from that's that's food from when they were yeah. a baby um <laughs> The uh, but the I mean I think it was kind of aimed more towards uh, older, um, maybe sort of like a you know just turning teen because some of the yeah, themes yeah. of it was quite a kind of, it was a darkish, not too okay. dark but it was kind of yeah. like introducing kind of like an edgier grittier storyline right. so maybe it was that maybe it was you know aimed at like ten eleven year olds, okay. and of course that's probably one thing that they'd be thinking about quite a lot. Yeah, we start little boys start thinking about little girls. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, never never understood it. Even to this day, I'm just like it. There's, there's no necessity for it, but it does make me laugh when I see the character because I'm just like I'm pretty sure if this was supposed to be a realistic character, uh, yeah. there would be a lot more. Uh, there'd be a lot more on show if you catch my drift. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but for a build, aside from you know the general, the general, but the 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 side builds are, you know, questionable. The mechs, all yes. right. Yeah, yeah. The the yeah, character. I I still when like obviously when you were commenting about it on your stream about why does a bat need a flying build? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and the all bat I could think of already. Yeah, was you know when you go scuba diving and you have those things you hold on to and then yeah like, yeah yeah it looks like yeah water. yeah that's what I thought <laughs> of I was like maybe it's to make her go faster I don't know <laughs> you know yeah exactly <laughs> she needs some red she needs some knuckles red to go faster that's it yeah but, but I do I do like the color scheme like the color scheme is quite kind of cool with like the yeah, magenta but... but yes yeah, yeah but it does yeah, well... it does feel as if 
you know, they needed to build something for her to hit the quota of every character needs to have a purpose in a set. So let's build her something completely useless that she'll yeah. never need to use, but we'll give her a purpose. Yeah. Well, my other thought was maybe that she needed that to lift the emerald because it sits. Like yeah. Up. Yeah. 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 And to be yeah. fair, to be fair, yeah, you've got the you've got the jumper on the underside, but it never tells you this. But you can't. Hold on, you can't. Oh, it doesn't actually. It doesn't... No. Ah. So it would work perfectly fine. Oh, you can as long as you kind of just. You kind of just kind. Of... Yeah. Display that being rude, you spread the. You spread oh, you the... spread the wings. <laughs> Spread eagle again. Can. <laughs> Spread eagle again. Then it can hold. So maybe that's the idea. Okay. And then okay. she flies okay. in and then takes it away. Yeah. yeah. Um, but again, the book didn't mention that at all. So maybe that no. you have to just look at that for yourself. I do like the the use of this piece for the Master Emerald, though. But yes. what I don't like is this piece in general. I think this piece is, whilst it looks very pretty, it's it's awful because they use it for a mini doll yes. as a dress piece and mm -hmm. the dress is trans the dress is translucent so it's like um what we're we trying to encourage here people yeah it's <laughs> a but that is that that makes the whole of the bottom there there's no like legs underneath no so. no no no. so uh, literally yeah, yeah. If, I've got, if i've got a mini doll to hand up i'll uh, show you normally i have a mini doll nearby I was going to say, <laughs> it would be unusual for me not to. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, saying that, I do have, um, I do actually have quite a lot of uh, minifigures at the moment. Um, okay. Just because most of my mini dolls are actually with my display. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just looking to see if I have one to hand. I don't. Do you know what? I don't think I. I don't think I do. I might have to go into <gasps> one of the drawers and grab. I know it Let's won't take me long. To... <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I just purged. You know, all instances of uh, certain mini dolls. Um, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do have one to hand though. Give me a moment. I'm pretty sure there'll be one nearby. And if there isn't, I'll be very surprised. Ah, here we are. Ah, oh, but so we're gonna we're gonna borrow um, we're gonna borrow one of the, uh, we're gonna borrow Nico. Nico doesn't have any hair, um, just okay. because Nico's hair was used to somebody else. But you can see this. This is how it works. So Nico's oh, yes. living his best life. Yeah, yeah. But as you can see, oh, hold on. Look. Oh yeah. So it's just like um. Whilst it looks looks like a, you know an impressive ball gown. Yes. There's no legs and you can see straight through it. And yeah, it's a little bit of a hmm, yeah, yeah. little bit like, dodge. Questionable choices. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Questionable well, indeed. They're just illustrating how transparent she is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Unlike some other two faced people we know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's no transparency <laughs> there at all. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's just quickly bring this up for a second so I can show you guys. So so far, we've got a, quite a nice base. I do like the colours, the white, and I believe that's sand green. I hope that's sand green. <laughs> that yeah. is sand green. Yeah. So, that looks yeah. so cool. It is nice. I like the fact that they've even tiled inside as well, even though you probably mm. aren't going to see that very much. But um, yeah, the van isn't quite as well at the moment. It doesn't seem to be as big as I thought it was going to be, but I ain't complaining. Like it, it, it does deceive. It does yeah. deceive. Like it, it looks, it is a lot smaller than you think it's going to be, but it is cool. Like yeah. the details are amazing. And when you add on bits to it, let you yeah. see later on. It's so cool. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's to be honest. That's also one of the reasons why I've liked Dream so far is that kind of option, that choice 
that you get. Mm. It's one of the reasons why I like three in ones as well. Oh, hey, Tom's in here. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Me and Dad say hello. Hi, Trev. <laughs> hey, Trev. <laughs> Hope you're good. Hope you're doing well. We're doing very well. Thank you very much. Hope your Monday was good. Hope you're healing up all right as well. Mm. So, yeah, hope you're feeling a lot better. So, bless. But yeah, um, yeah, dream sets. The um, I like the the alternative builds that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose the one downside is, um, unlike the three in ones, is you're gonna always, almost always, have some pieces left over. You are, yeah. And uh, for me, choice that you make. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. So if I always like one design. That means those pieces are going to forever live in that box, <laughs> and because uh, I don't mock, I don't take things apart, and even my overdose always go back in the box. So yeah, I mean, but, uh... I, I don't pretend to understand your logic, but I respect <laughs> your logic. Yeah, I don't know why. I just, I just like to keep everything together. <laughs> so but that's, that's fine. It's just a different type of organization. And yeah, where do you do you keep your do you and Carl keep all your boxes? Um, for a lot of stuff, yeah. Like I keep, we keep um, the Lego boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably only one or two small, very very small sets or GWP things that we haven't kept boxes for. Um, but even like Carl's Funko Pop collection, we even though we've got a whole bunch of them in a window cabinet, a glass cabinet in the you kept room. all the boxes in the plastic. All the boxes are kept, and they're in a larger box, which is then in the attic. So, yeah. I mean, so. if you've got the space for it, that's the thing. Um, yeah, I mean, luckily the attic's like the whole length of the flat, so it's like loads of space to store stuff. Yeah. It's just sometimes and, and... a bit awkward, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and that's cool. I mean, ours is awkward to get into, but we do have the whole span of the the semi-detached yeah. so we're, we're in a we're in a mid terrace so we've got it's yes. it's fairly sizable but you can't yeah. access most of it because you need a giant ladder to get up there and we just don't <laughs> have the space to house a giant ladder oh so. fair enough yeah as has got the one which is uh the pull down mm. oh yeah so you open open the latch and then you've got a pull down ladder so uh, which is a uh, convenient <laughs> I was going to say that's mightily convenient. So ours has the standard lift off. You have to push up the panel and then oh, you can yes, gain yes, access yes. to it. Um, but we didn't have a ladder. The annoying thing is, is it has a light. So it has power in the utility cupboard down um, just outside my room. There's like a mm -hmm. light switch that yeah. turns on the light up the top. But the light at the top has another switch on it. And someone switched oh, okay. it off, but it's too high to reach. <laughs> so I can't get up there to switch it on to switch the power on because I can't oh. reach. I literally can't reach. <laughs> I tried getting one of those grabbers to switch it and it just wouldn't work. Yeah. I was oh, like, bless. it's forever doomed to have no light up there. Bless. Um, but you like it. Have you not seen those collapsible ones? So that's I what have. my mother bought, and she she uses that. So she just goes boom, and it just folds out, and then. That's how she gets up her. I might have to. I might have to get one of those and store it in the utility cupboard. The the, the yeah. thing is, is that it would be so useful to use it because it's huge. But we've also got a giant garden, so oh, right. um, okay. so whilst our mid terrace house is quite small, our mm -hmm. garden is about three times the size of the house in terms of okay. Room. So yeah, yeah. um, yeah, we're quite fortunate because we back on to we we're in a we're in a round cul de sac. So we back yes. on to another set of houses. So, of course, okay, yeah, the yeah. join in the middle. Um, everyone's yeah. got like a communal alleyway apart from us. So we've got the extra portion uh, of the garden. Okay. So, okay, that's cool. yeah, yeah, we've got in our flat, we've got like these little patches of what they call gardens at the back. I mean, if you're the ground floor, it's fine. You've got this like big bit. Then they've got this little alleyway between the two bottom floor flats and some like little outdoor sheds each one each flat's got like this little brick built like shedding area and then at the back there's four square patches four fenced off areas and we're the top one so we get like the smallest one but our very small patch of dirt which is a garden 
has like the world's biggest tree in it. <laughs> it's like it's useless. <laughs> like it's absolutely useless. <laughs> so who planted the tree? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, come on now. Really? Mm. You know, there's no sun, there's nothing in there. It's just Oh god. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd just, be like I yeah. ignore it. What garden? Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much what I do. I was just like, I don't I don't really have a garden. So I, I, I the thing is is that the gut the gut we're quite fortunate here because in our last house we didn't have um we were on a main road so we had roadside parking so we didn't have a driveway whereas now mm. we've got a driveway so okay. we have off-road parking which is really handy but the back of the house has a giant brick built patio um which is really nice but the um the fact we've got because it's like a long garden we've got um on the left hand side we've got a conservatory which um the next door's got a conservatory so it goes across the width of the patio so oh, right, yeah, you mean yeah. you've got privacy one side but you don't have privacy the other side because when they step out their their uh, kitchen door they, they can see straight over into the garden oh, and it's right, like yeah. really awkward you can't <laughs> sunbathe out there let's say that oh right okay <laughs> <laughs> so it's a case of yeah you're, you're gonna be uh spending as limited time out there as possible i mean we do go out there like yeah yeah we, we did try and find somewhere that was either completely um patioed or no garden at all because we, we haven't got time to do a garden i'm not gonna be rude and you yeah. know turn it down because this house is amazing but i haven't got time to do a garden i i don't have time in the week to do it i love it but i haven't got time oh fair enough yeah um we didn't even know there was a garden because it wasn't listed with this house when we were looking. So we literally turned up. We liked the flat. It was I actually I, when I looked at the pictures, I didn't like the flat. I didn't like the look of it from the from the front, and the pictures inside weren't very good. So, but oh. when we actually came in, like this this is a double room. Our bedroom is a double room. The lounge is quite sizable. The kitchen is quite decent, and it's got a little kind of like not a utility, but it's got like a little side like pantry area kind of thing mm -hmm. to it oh you then... and your pantry <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know. and then there's a uh, the the only the, the big downside is the bathroom is right in the middle and where the window to the bathroom used to be the exterior outside space um yeah. they used to be like a little balcony at the back they actually that's all been uh door, it's been like walled in kind of thing so big put big patio doors where that like balcony used to be so Ooh. it's a concrete balcony but it's actually been enclosed now and um oh. yeah so unless so um unless the extraction fan is doing its job you have a shower or something and there's just steam everywhere so no yeah so and uh yeah we had a problem with our fan so we we, we were like opening windows everywhere every time somebody had a shower and Carl likes his showers, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, we were uh, trying to let out all the moisture from the air because, obviously, you know, being a flat, it just had nowhere else to go. It was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we have the same. We have the same issue. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> There's a tap on stream. There is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, for us, though, the one thing that I quite liked about this place and what was quite, although I was, I was really peed off. I'm being polite because Tom's in the chat. I was very <laughs> yeah. peed, peed off yeah. because um, when we viewed the house, um, the bathroom, I mean, it was a brand new free piece and, and we had in a kitchen. So the kitchen was just an empty room. So as we were looking around, she said, just envision a brand new kitchen. Um, and we're like, that's fine. You know, they're, they're doing all of that. So I was like, fine. I can envision a brand new kitchen in here because the walls were lime green lego lime green walls in the kitchen okay so just envision that really that really luminous bright green for mm -hmm. some reason that just happened to be the kitchen um yeah. and there was no carpeting throughout the entire house at all so oh, there was okay. no carpet yeah, yeah. so it was un completely unfurnished um but when we went to when we viewed the place there was um, it was wallpapered on some of the walls, but not on all of the walls. And the bathroom, 
um, had a fairly new free piece with um, new tiling, which is really nice. And it had, a, it, because our last house didn't have a shower because we didn't have water pressure, enough water mm -hmm. pressure. But this one had a mix attack with a shower attachment, like brilliant. So, of course, we're really looking forward to finally having the ability to, you know, have a shower because we're in a rental. So we can't just install one. And so we so we accept. I grab the keys. We come in and they change the bleeping taps to just <laughs> single taps. And they got them the wrong way around. So our bath oh. taps <laughs> is uh, red for cold and blue for hot. Well, you know, you don't want to be like everybody else. <laughs> oh, no, know. it's just like give we've so we've got the water pressure um and we've got we've actually got a proper extractor fan in our kitchen and our bathroom whereas the other house didn't have those so we've got the ability to vent out enough but it's still obviously if you don't open the window to let steam out it still yes. gets moisture and mold yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to be careful yeah, yeah we're constantly fighting the the the, the mold because <laughs> of the bathroom it's just yeah it's a pain in the butt but yeah right uh let me quickly show you this illustration in the book because i love these it's so cool isn't it it's very very fun design yeah these are they, see and now this this kind of thing this is why we don't need ai art <laughs> in yes. lego you know we do not they are doing it of fine artists on their own so indeed we do not need yeah. ai art the thing is no. is that ai is just Again, I said it said it last night, but yeah, AI art is really, really dangerous because it is just damaging the. I mean, I've got a, one of my really, really good friends. She is a comic book artist. Yes. So she, um, so she does art, and she, they, her and her friends, um, are just so worried about um, art in general yes. because she can't put her work out there because this this ai will scrape the internet and plagiarize it that's true yeah um well that was the problem i saw with obviously with the the issue with the ai art that came out um because I, I to be honest i didn't look at it very closely and then it was only when it was brought up in um in a private chat on the instagram and then i actually looked at the pictures and i was like well hang on that headband that bandana that headband bandana that's mm. that's not Ninjago. That is very obviously Naruto, which I'm a big fan of because I've watched every single episode. I mean, there's 700 plus episodes of that show, and I've yeah, watched yeah, every yeah. single one. You know, so yeah. Um, so I instantly recognised it, and I was like, okay. And then, obviously, when you then look down and you see like the the very misshapen Lego claw hand, the one that's really fat, and then the oh gosh, thin. I've literally just seen that is creepy yeah so God, it looks like a proper claw yeah it's it's That's just really bad messed up but um yeah uh as i say like i know that like i said that it was done by third party but ultimately the book stops with you <laughs> you know your Lego. you should know the better. thing is exactly and you're in the design industry you know you know exactly the bug has oh. to stop somewhere and it always yeah. stops at the you know the holder of the if you produce something you send it out there yeah. it's got your name attached to it it don't matter if tom dick or harry made it you yeah. are the one that people are going to be looking to because it's just like I mean, it's got your name yeah. all over it yeah i mean obviously i work in professional print and mm. <laughs> Not anytime AI somebody print. No, we were, we, yeah. And, you know, we do have studio artists ourselves. Um, but every time we get some sent in, artwork sent in from, say, a school or a company or something, the minute there is something in there that is potentially copyrighted, yes. we throw it back at them and say, right, do you have, do you have rights to use this? And if you do, you need to prove it. Because if mm. you don't, you know, um, the book stops with you basically so yeah. we yeah, we yeah. make sure we cover all our bases as the printer that we aren't going to get blamed for um yeah because they're that, not going to worry about it yeah. they let you no. take the book exactly yeah, it's awful so yeah so uh yeah that's one of the things obviously you know 
been uh, been in print that we have to do we have to make sure that mm. we are covered as a company to make sure copyright claims and such are um yeah you can't have are, anything are that's be, yeah. yeah brand damage the thing exactly. is is that you know that brand damaging is one of the worst things that you can have happen to you because if someone slanders your name in any way shape or form that's it you can very rarely reform from it especially if that is in the form of a really you know really bad review yes because it'll only take that one bad review and that's permanently on the internet you can never erase that or get rid of it so no. it's no that's true it's, it's, right. it's frustrating right. just saying hi to mini bricks hello welcome on in hey tim <laughs> hope you're good and uh I've just built Mateo, so we're on bag two, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Mateo so cool. Mateo. I love that pencil. Yes. Yeah. It's really cool. There he is with his little backpack as well. <laughs> That's such a cool piece. So, yeah. He's such a nice little character. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so yeah, um, as I say, I know Lego put out their statements and everything, and obviously the third party company, whoever they did use. Um, now, I don't know if they were a smaller company and they tried to rush something to get it finished or whatever, but yeah, why, I, I just don't understand why they didn't just go straight back to Lego and say, oh, by the way, we need these images. Can you yeah. supply something? You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, exactly. And most websites, again, um, you know, the company I work for, I won't say, but they have a repository of images that you can use yeah. for, you know, research purposes. So it's not as if you can't get hold of this stuff. Like Lego will have a resource for people to use that are images that they give you full permission to use for media, um, not yeah. for obviously things like that but if it's their own property then they'd just be like just grab it from our repository of ninjago imagery for crying out loud don't don't formulate our our minifigure which as we know the minifigure they hold very close to their heart in terms of copyright yes. like anything that even goes close to that they are on them like a dog so yes. the fact that that managed to get through um yeah yeah it's ridiculous it's, so it is embarrassing. <laughs> Well, that's what I think. I think you know that is that's very embarrassing, and that's and I, I mean, if the if the little bit of Naruto wasn't attached to it, I do yeah. think they might have let it slide. But there's the, so it's so Naruto. Yeah, the <laughs> fact that Naruto <laughs> everyone can see it obviously influencing the AI algorithm. Um, yeah, it, it uh, yeah, they instantly went oh crap <laughs> let's get that down before we get sued <laughs> but yeah but yeah, obviously it's, it's cool. gone on the internet it's too late now yeah this is it yeah but it was, yeah, up. It was up for a split bad. second it's done yeah but yeah um, and it's not just lego apparently i mean i i haven't been i do not follow the news very much i don't uh i think it's all a bit uh a bit of a downer to be honest <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. always good to kind of keep your distance from it. Yeah, even uh, even the royals are at this whole kind of uh, <laughs> the royals are at oh. this whole kind of uh, photoshopping and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there were so many. I've seen some very very fun photos of that family portrait being taken elsewhere. Yes. Oh my yes. goodness, there were some very humorous <laughs> ones. It was very good. So yeah. Um, so well done, well done, Internet, <laughs> for grabbing that image <laughs> and running with it. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, is if you know Reddit, give them a task and they'll run with it. Yeah. Like, give them well, an they... image and go, okay, put this in the compromising position. Happens. Yeah. I think um, whoever didn't vet <laughs> the Lego thing also didn't vet <laughs> that image before it went yeah. out. Yeah. On... <laughs> For the royals, I can yeah. imagine that they got a a, a lovely, uh, polite work related slap. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at how much you've cost us in in negative publicity due to your uh, yeah. your mistake. See, if 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 Queenie was still around, she'd be like, "One is not amused." One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
one backhand yeah. you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have my sword with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I won't knight you. I will smite yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, suddenly turns into the, the Queen of Hearts. Oh, with her head! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just says it on the mantelpiece. <laughs> yeah. Told you, don't mess with yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody walks in and they're like, that's not photoshopped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is disrespect on that mantelpiece. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> Who yeah. wants to wash my feet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. They do. They do live a completely different lifestyle. Oh my God. Um, this is it, and we've got to remember that you know they to estimate the royals' worth because obviously the royals receive income. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there's there's obviously. Revenue they generate because of the fact they're royal as well. So there's that. There's lots of politics around it. You know, mm -hmm. there's lots of people that have very colourful views on it. But yes, there, are. there are certain countries in the Commonwealth that have a huge respect for the monarchy, um, and it comes with a huge following. Um, so it's uh, <laughs> it's one of those ones where you don't. When it comes to sort of royal stuff, you have to be very careful because there are those that are um, very big fans of the uh, the royals. Yeah. And those that are not. That's, <laughs> that's true, yes. <laughs> those that are clearly not. <laughs> Here, Morgan. So you've got, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's, there's, but I think there are a lot of people that ride the publicity wagon for the royals yeah. as well. Yeah, sorry. Cosmo's just trying to nick off with my box. <laughs> I'm building that. Yeah, so. Um, bless. Uh, yeah, he likes cardboard. <laughs> he likes playing with cardboard boxes. Oh, yeah. I, I have to show you an image of, of our cats. Um, you saying they love cardboard. So uh, many, many years ago, as I scroll through literally thousands of images <laughs> to find the photo to show you. Um, literally, I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of photos <laughs> on this phone. Because when you upgrade your phone um, from Google, it literally yes. gives you um, all your photos that you previously had on your last device. So, of course, this dates back to 2015. Oh, I think so, I think mine's of roughly 2015 on my phone as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, we got our we got our cats. So, um, our cat Morgana, um, six months, no, six weeks. I think it was six weeks old when we got him. Um, adorable little tiny ball of fluff. Yeah. Um, and our other cat, uh, Luna. Uh, we actually rescued from the vet whilst um, he was having his checkups done. Oh, okay. Um, God bless. So she was she was abandoned at six months. She was abandoned at the oh. vets. No one wanted her. Oh. They just dumped her, and the previous owners had abused her. So once we once we'd met her, we got a phone call from my brother and sister in law, and they were just like, um, "This is Luna." Um, she was abandoned and, you know, left behind at the vets. They didn't know the history. So, of course, the first thing we did is went, yep, yeah, she's coming home with us. Yeah, yeah. Um, where's, oh, I've got a cute picture of Walk. Hold on. Um, where is it? Yeah, here it is. So these are the scamps. It's like, oh. here's a cardboard box and <laughs> yeah. we're not guilty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, Luna is on the right-hand side with the little tiny tuft of white on her chest. Oh, yes. And yeah, then Morgana yeah. is sitting in the box. Oh, cool. But but Morgana was literally my... Um, when I was working from home, so obviously when the, when the world went down the route, it did. Um, yeah. Got to work... I uh, was working from home. So um, Hi, Morgana <laughs> ended up being my uh, work buddy. Uh, so I was sitting there up. working and then he was just like, no, oh. I want attention too. <laughs> Introduce me to your colleagues at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 
bless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we've had Cosmo for a little over a year. Mm -hmm. Um, we got him. I think it was uh, the end of January, beginning of February last year, and he's only his birthday was his birthday's in October. October. Th he's actually a Halloween baby. He's October thirty first. Um, and to be honest, he's Carl's very first. Uh, Dog. So, I've wow. never never had a dog. Um, he is actually allergic to dogs, <laughs> um, but because of because of the breed of Cosmo, he's a Bichon Frise, so he's so um, he, he doesn't, doesn't molt? really molt. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm. So that does mean we have to get him groomed regularly. And uh, to be honest, so he he's just not becomes this big fluff ball. <laughs> yeah, he's uh he's not long been to the groomers, so they do cut him. We do get him quite quite a uh, shortcut on his body because he does get um, tangles under his arms, under his. Oh, you don't pits. want him to get matt matted. No, that's it. Of... Yeah, he gets he get does get a little matted sometimes. So we do try to keep him uh, short, but his head his head is just a fluff. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. We we did have dogs for many many years. I think for for a good sort of ten fifteen years we had dogs, and then yeah. Um, when mum fell ill, we couldn't have dogs. So uh, we got cats and said, we did have cats when we were younger as well. So we kind of went cats, dogs, dogs yeah. and cats, then yeah. dogs, then cats again. Okay. Well, we've, I grew up in a house where we pretty much always had dogs. Um, and we did get a couple of black cats once. My sister wanted to have some cats because we, we didn't normally have cats. So she wanted to have cats. And uh, my mum agreed this one time and we had them. And unfortunately, we were on a busy road, and they did get uh, the one got run over, and then the other one um, didn't survive much past it. I think uh, she just got lonely and was very sad. They were brother and sister, so mm. um, oh, they yeah. they do they pine and mourn. It's very sad. Yeah, so um, they do. They get really bad PTSD when they lose their, their yeah, their, yeah, the little partner. But yeah, um, so we had them once, uh, but. Because, because obviously cats you can't control as much. I know that you can have indoor cats. Oh, yeah, ours are indoor. indoor. We won't let them out. It's too yeah, um, dangerous. Yeah, that's that. To be honest, we should have just kept them indoor. But we had a big garden in our house where we used to live, so it almost felt cruel. <laughs> and we had dogs at the same time, so the dogs were allowed out, and then cats. Yeah, so we've just had. Sorry, sorry, I was say. Fab's come in. So, hey, Fab. Hey, Liz. Here's Kerry as well. Hey, so, Kerry. Yeah. People of the internet, Kerry is alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I mean we have um, <laughs> we have a cat. So when we moved in, there was a cat flap in the door. Um, So it's like, oh, the potential. But it's just like, there's no, no. So our cats are, in, are indoor cats. Um, okay. And... That was a decision that we made because we used to have indoor cats and um, in our last house years and years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. And then one of them just got out and then sort of just enjoyed life and came back at the end of the day. And we were just like, are we depriving them of having the, the life they want? So we let the other one out and then they run around for years and years and years. But it was just the one of we didn't have a cat flap. So they come up to the kitchen window and just like tap the window to come get be let back in. So it's like, oh, yeah. OK, in you come. And then, well, OK, out you go. So this way it's fine. And they hate the front door. <laughs> like the front door's open, they they dart. Yeah. So they don't uh, like the outside. So we don't have to worry about them too much. And sometimes I get a bit inquisitive. Um, yeah. But for the most part, it's that like door opens. They're like, vroom, gone. So we're fine. <laughs> Fab's been trying, meaning to DM Kerry to make sure she's alive. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Josh is saying hi, hi, Josh. Hope you're good. Eating, sorry, inconsistent. Oh. You're eating inconsistently. Oh gosh, eat yeah. consistently, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Regular mouthfuls, uh, mine, please. <laughs> yeah. Mine were indoor for the first year, and now we let them out uh, when we are inside, so they only really go out in the garden. Okay. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Fab saying hi to the minifig. Who to Gaz and Kerry saying hi to Tom. 
Nice. I think yeah. we've got dogs around as well, so you know oh, we yeah, don't yeah. want the cats to get startled. So it's just easy to keep them indoor. Plus, it, they're cleaner as well. As you know, we don't have to worry about them getting mucky yes. outside and such. So yeah, I mean, um, luckily um, we've got a little park near us. So even though we don't have a great garden. <laughs> We can just walk up the road and we've got Stuck one. Around the tree. There's yeah. your walk, Cosmo. Around the tree yeah. once. Like, in He's only got little legs. <laughs> he doesn't need that much, to be honest. So, yeah, he's only he's only small, so he doesn't need massive amounts of exercise. <laughs> uh, oh, the trouble calls are high, Josh. Yes. Yes, Josh is a trouble causer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have to look so I can eat. No worry, Fab. You can learn, listen listen in to our, our, our dulcet tones. <laughs> And our, our delightful topics. Yes, yeah. Cats and gardens and all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fab. Hey, Kerry. Nom that dinner. Yes. Nom that dinner. <laughs> nom, mm. nom, nom. <laughs> yes. I beg to differ. <laughs> Usually Remember, those I know you. <laughs> say they are not for the guiltiest. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, she doth protest too much, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, but hello yeah <laughs> lies 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 i tell you <laughs> yeah <laughs> bless uh, so um what are you building on your next stream or is that a surprise i'm i try and keep it you know? a surprise if i can oh no that's um, fine. i always have <clears throat> i always have stuff in my i always have plenty like plenty of stuff in the backlog the thing oh is, my God. is that... yeah, talk about a backlog. Hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, I look over and probably about a third of my display space is stamped from surface to ceiling with um, yes. backlog. I still have the boutique hotel to build, Martin. I haven't built that yet. Oh, I still. You know, I was considering that today. To build as well. Yeah, I haven't built any of them. Um, we get uh, one of our kind of perks at work is at Christmas we get um, like a fifty pound gift card. You know, shop for all mm -hmm. kind of place thingy. Oh yeah, and, I know the one you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I didn't. I haven't used last year's, and I've got this. Uh, sorry, last year's and the years before. So I've got two. And then um, when I got the box of figs, another person at work gave me their card in uh, exchange for mm -hmm. a set of figs. Yeah, exactly. So now I've got three. Have you oh, checked like, the balances okay. on them? Because they yeah, expire. Um, yes. Yeah, they go down after 18 months. They start to Yeah, go down. they start rolling downwards. Yeah. That's fine, mate. So Just take it, take it from a retailer expert. Yes. They, they, <laughs> I'm very they, aware that they charge. I need to use them before June. Um, yes. <laughs> and I, yeah. And I was looking, and um, yeah, Boutique Hotel is, what is it, £200? £199.99 or something? Where are you or, looking to get it from? I, I can't remember where I Are you looking it. to get it from John Lewis Smiths? Uh, yeah, I think I saw it on John Lewis because I can use those cards there. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was um, so I could get like a hundred and fifty pound off it, and I was like, "That's not a bad discount." <laughs> so love, love to love to shop ones, right? Yeah, uh, shop. shop for one for all. Shop, shop one for all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want Fabland is just so there. I want the... to get a main kitten and. Leash train it so it can oh, take it to the water. Oh, oh so cute. They are gorgeous. Big furry cats they are. I was going to say. Um, mm. So currently, again, beautiful. Uh, yeah, 200. Not. 200 for Boutique Hotel. 200, yeah. Thing is, I want them to go on sale and then use the discount. <laughs> and then use oh, the cards so, as well. <laughs> so John Lewis always, always um, put Lego on sale. Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, to, yeah I got. I got. I got my other. Uh, I think I got one or two of my other modules. Mo mm -hmm. Modules. Modulers. Yes, from, from John there. Lewis. They yeah, are really and, good because they yeah. put the twenty percent off on all the modulars, and it's just like, oh, 
Yeah, so I'm That's I'm cool. kind of hoping maybe they want to do that with the boutique hotel soon, you know? <laughs> like, <come on. laughs> yeah, when, this is it. Well, I was quite fortunate because um, Ollie sold me his um, jazz club. Fab, Fab, I've seen your backlog. Yeah. Yes. I've seen it. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Chris might have uh, let me add a sneak peek of it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Of the room, <laughs> yeah. Not of the owry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, not his owry. No. 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 Yeah, he's very wasn't proud an of owry his owry. Pick. Wasn't an owl pick. I'm telling you, <laughs> it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't an one of them. Pick. Yeah. <laughs> we we are five minutes to seven. We are being very good. Yes. It wasn't an owry pick. No, I'd wasn't. have been worried if it was an hourly pick. I'd have been like, what have you been asking for? <laughs> Lego sets only. <laughs> oh, Bricka Picks has to have a talk, apparently, about her backlog. She can't even get in the Lego room. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, if I put all of the sets which are currently in the bedroom, <laughs> which are boxed and just sitting up the corner, and put them in here, you probably couldn't get in here either. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, so your bedroom is literally you literally got box fortress in your bedroom. I've got yeah, so I've got a wardrobe against the wall, and then there's a gap, and then there's like um in front of the window, there's this like um I want to say it like a sideboard. It's like it's actually a telephone seat, like a table. Look at you bougie with your telephone I, I, seat. Yeah. It just looked nice. With, the, with, the, with the little metal studs along the seat, the leather seat. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. Um obviously that's a little drawer on it and whatever and this yeah anyway on that normally i dump like clothing and bits and pieces and whatever but in that gap between it is stacked from floor to the top of the wardrobe it's just very very nicely stacked i will say <laughs> yeah. lego boxes so all the of a similar size are put together titanic's at the bottom because that's the biggest one and then yeah they're all like stacked on top but uh trick for stacking okay. i will let you know now if you stack um, one row this way and then put the mm -hmm. next row on top this way, they don't tend to all bow in one direction. No. So, yeah. So this stack is from an expert Jenga builder. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I tell you, the other day was a bit like Jenga. I wanted to get one of these sets out and I was being lazy and I didn't want to take the top ones off. It's all the one. Like, ah! <laughs> it was like... <laughs> I thought, oh my god! So yeah, uh, death by Lego boxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, so for me, I have um, I have a whole multitude of different sets. Like, of course, I try and build some of the backlog yeah. where I can. But when I moved, um, I couldn't keep the boxes for stuff, so I bagged them. So I've got bags of sets. So all the video sets, um, I've still yet to build the two biggest video sets. I've got the yeah. pirate ship one. And then I've got the boom box and I bought those with Kerry in Manchester two years ago. Um, oh, yeah. Cause Kerry and Kerry enabled me to buy those. <laughs> I was walking out the store, minding yeah. my own business, sweet, innocent me. And Kerry was like yeah, video 50% off. And I'm like, Oh yeah. Walking out with my sets. Um, <laughs> I'm only joking. She didn't enable. She let me know. I won't give, I won't make her feel bad. Like now. Well, was it full I, control I, spending? We, we can't, we can't <laughs> really she talk about the enabling. Little bit. She enabled me a little bit. Yeah, because um, I definitely influenced. So I influenced Kerry to get the uh, the Viking three in one ship. Kerry did not need no influencing. No, she didn't need no influence. But no. you know, like you know how she has to get every idea <laughs> set. So the Viking village is an idea set, and I was like, you know what's going to go really well with that. <laughs> the three one oh, you ship. terrible person <laughs> you're gonna have to explain that to mark you know that right <laughs> well you know i mean um it's just like kerry just puts you on the phone to mark so this is the yeah. enabler yeah uh we'll you know what we could do that to everyone we could put everyone's everyone's other half on the phones <laughs> it'll be a full circle of all the a <laughs> falls just going hello 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 hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we just have a general consensus don't come to us for non-enabling we will yes. always enable if you say yeah. i need that set we will say yes you do we will never say no you don't exactly yeah do i need this yes of course you need it. it's a lego <laughs> like, <laughs> 
and we all I, I think we all we've all pretty much adopted uh nicole's um first rule as well <laughs> you know <laughs> from the from the, the talk in the chat yeah mm. build the lego and room will make itself <laughs> available yes what yes yes kerry <laughs> yeah. i do not recall oh. this incident oh. Did, did Chris show you all of it or just the main backlogs? I think it was just <laughs> the main backlog. There was a few, only like two or three pictures. So, but he did show me your, your, your stacking's very good as well, by the way. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> your Lego box stacking is very good. <laughs> yeah. I do not recall this incident. Oh, oh yeah. I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> I'm pretty okay, sure you do. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> What's really cool it, is um, it was one of the um, one of the first. So it was the first year that I went up to Bricktastic, and so I went up and me and Thomas stayed in a hotel, um, quite far away from the venue, because okay. um, yeah, this basically it was a fluke. So I I booked this hotel because it was the cheapest hotel to get to Bricktastic. So it was about a couple of tram stops away and about a fifty minute walk. So you know. It was a fair enough distance away, but it was class still close enough that, you know, you could enjoy the show and everything. But it was only two stops away from the Lego store, so that made it all right. Um, <laughs> and so we were visiting, so we just went as visitors um, yes. rather than going as displayers. And uh, Kerry was volunteering. I think Kerry was volunteering. I'm pretty sure Kerry was volunteering. And so anyway, we met Kerry, and it was when we met a lot of people for the first time at Bricktastic. That's why Bricktastic is this huge, big, big thing. Because over the last couple of years, we've really kind of all grouped together. Um, and then so a whole group of us went to the, to the Lego store together. Um, and that's where that incident happened. Just to refresh your memory, Kerry, <laughs> if you forgot. <laughs> Just to remember. A whole, a whole group of us went to um went to Wagamama's to have food as well. Oh, I like Wagamama's. I do like Wagamama's. Oh, you were just visiting. Okay. Yeah. Um, was that last year? No, the year before. The year before, Kerry. It was the year before. Because I went with Greg last year. And Greg definitely wasn't at the Lego store with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on to bag three. So, of course, that means another illustration in the book. So, let me bring this up for Such you guys so you can set. see. We don't mention it. We don't, Kerry. The place that does not <laughs> does not get spoken about. Why do you not? Why is there a story? Um, <laughs> let's let's just say that um, the Kerry and the shall not be named have history. Oh, fine, fair enough. Because I know that she said that before in one of my streams. She's like, <laughs> "We don't talk about that," and I'm like, "They have well, a complicated uh... past." <laughs> fair enough. Okay, fair enough. It was a rough breakup, yeah, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No worries. Kerry, Kerry's Kerry's facing similar to what a lot of people are facing. The catchment, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Then we shall not speak her name. <laughs> not <laughs> Kerry Wagamamas, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever that place. Hashtag whatever. Yeah. Insert name here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's it was very sad. Great. I remember when we were all told. It was very sad. I have another smaller pile in my room by the door, some under a corner desk that I don't use, and then there's some on the shelves behind me that you can see in the live stream. Okay. I think I saw the stuff behind the door, by the door. I definitely saw that pile. <laughs> and under a corner desk. I might have seen that bit as well. I can't remember. Oh. Yeah. How dare they? I mean, to be fair, I've said, um, I've been made redundant twice. And it, it, it sucks. It does happen. Yeah, it does yeah, It does happen. It does. It, you know, I, I understand the logistics behind it. Oh, trust yeah. me, Kerry. I, I, I will subtly say, because it's, um, obviously I can't really say too much, but uh believe me i know exactly what you mean yes i know and exactly what you mean that last comment that's definitely like my last yeah, redundancy got so me into true. the job i'm in today and yeah. i'm very very happy where i am today 
so yeah yeah so you, you know, know new new opportunities come around and so sometimes you know in uh and I am realising that, you know, because I have been made redundant before, so opportunities yeah. come from not so opportune times. And sometimes yes. it's about the, you know, you don't know, the unexpected is always scary because you don't know yeah. what you're going to go into. But actually, you carry all that knowledge and all those skill sets with you and yeah. all that experience. And, you know, the right thing turns up and then you settle into that and it's just like... You just carry on. I mean, before I before I work worked where I work, where I've been for f almost fourteen years, um, the I used to not be in a job for longer than three and a bit years because I used to I used to get bored. Yes. I'd be like, this yeah, yeah, is yeah. So boring. I need to go. So I've been a window cleaner. I've been a um, gardener. I was a student gardener um, that okay. I worked on some my college job. I've done childcare. Don't ask. Don't ask. Never go back to do it again. Never go back to do it again. Um, brilliant experience. I was, I was supporting friends setting up. Um, so they asked okay. me. So I was a so I, my very first job leaving school was volunteering for a um, local charity, which then I got a paid role working for. Um, yes. And then I went on from that. So that was the most rewarding job in my life. Like volunteering. If you can volunteer, oh my god, you know it's just one of the most rewarding things you can ever do and i was being paid to do work in that job as well for towards the end of it so it was so cool yeah um and then i went into childcare to help my friends they were doing a startup business so they needed people to kind of help them um okay. so just to get established so yeah, i yeah, am yeah. a nvq3 certified child carer oh, although okay. my qualifications probably long expired and i am <laughs> never never going back into it ever again no, you know, uh, forget um, that. <laughs> forget that. For, <laughs> you know, that. Yeah, I um, have to say, um, childcare probably not, not, not what I would say is my forte. I did think consider it <laughs> once. I even considered be. I considered being a primary school teacher at one point. Um, someone says, "Oh, you'd be great with kids." I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> um, you know, I just, I think I'm a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I, I am patient. I'm very patient, but I'm very patient with rational things. I'm not very patient with somebody just constantly screaming something, the same thing over and over and over again for no valid reason. I, <laughs> I'd be like, just shut up. <laughs> yeah. And, and this is it. The thing is, is that I think towards the, towards the end of my, you know, tenure doing that, um, it was, there, there were lots of different factors going into it, but I think the, um, the main factor was the legislation behind the safeguarding of children changed. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so as a result, it meant that you weren't allowed to do a whole lot of what you could do before. So yeah, yeah. in my opinion, at that time, it was stumping children's growth because you weren't allowed to do so much. Like everything had to be strictly. And I know it's I know it's the same to this day. But everything so they they teach you five different styles like uh learning styles that every single i love that sticker so much yeah it's so cool <laughs> they um they they have five different learning styles um in childcare. so your personal intellectual language emotional and social which is piles okay. so you apply piles <laughs> you apply piles to every activity i know they've taken one of them out now so i think it's like hills or pies or something but um yeah, yeah it used to be called piles so it's quite funny it was um but every activity has to factor those in including a baby you have to plan an activity for a baby that has all five of those things in it and if you don't mm -hmm. and you get inspected by Ofsted you can fail so it was like it was like no 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 if you can't allow a child to play and develop through play and not everything has to be structured like they want to tip a box of yeah. bricks upside down and build a tower then do that but now me and kerry have a similar thing i have no tolerance yeah it's just like if i could get yeah. away with sticking my foot out to trip the little i would <laughs> yeah out of the way yeah especially in the lego store no i'm only joking i am joking oh, i would yeah. never do that but, i'm not that horrible no. but <laughs> no. get out of my way but you are convention. the distance between me and the <laughs> apple it's just like pick them up and like get out <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Laid off mm. means uh, being made redundant, and yeah, being fired. Uh, being sacked. Exact. 
yeah yeah i've been I, i've been um i've been fired from a job one job only one ever job i've been fired for the rest i walked out from um and i was fired from the job because i was working for uh two charities so yes. i went when i left the childcare i went back to work for charities um and so i worked for action for children wonderful charity um also i did realize i just uh flipped you off i'm so sorry i had two fingers <laughs> up and i did the wrong one i'm so sorry um <laughs> apologies i was not flipping you off i assure you we've got two hours mark from... two hours before we get past the watch no, <laughs> need to join this stream i can't help it i just walk into these situations so um yeah. at least i'm not talking about an american tv show or you would be cancelled yes um so yeah, we won't go on to the snow white set i'm telling you right now <laughs> snow white and the seventh no um no. So, <laughs> so i worked for action for children yeah. and i also worked for the rspca as well which yeah. was an amazing thing to work for because okay, yes, i yes, absolutely yes. adore animals um and so it was the so I started off working for the RSPC and then I um, transferred to work for Action for Children, um, and that's uh, yeah that that ended up not working out towards the end because they give you a quota that you have to meet and if you don't meet the quota they fire you, and oh. um, I was in Carlisle and they were giving me the right they give me um, Action for Children. Um, and then I had, I can't remember what the other charity was, but it was a, it was a charity that was specific to England that they're trying to promote on the borders of Scotland. So you can imagine how people reacted to that. Um, I, I got a very, very, uh, I got very thick skin very quickly yes. because yeah, yeah. if there's a name in the vocabulary of, uh, swear words, I was called that over the space oh of four days so you learn very quickly to build a, a firm shell um but by the end of it i literally just had enough and it was the hottest day of the year and i was burnt to a crisp because we were out for like 12 13 hour days we were being fueled on energy drinks to keep us going like honestly it was one of the worst things ever to do for a job it was frappy as hell but I was traveling around the country. I got to see yes. different things. Um, but yeah, that was uh, not the best, let's just say. So I was only ever fired from one job. Um, yeah, yeah. And I happily was fired. And so I was fired midway through the day. So I just went off for the rest of the day and just did my thing. The problem was I had to keep them on my good books because they were my transportation from Carlisle back to Oxford to transfer to Reading. Oh, okay. So I couldn't kind of... Uh, so I took it on the chin um, and that travel back, that five, six hour um, car journey, however long it was, I can't remember now, um, yeah, yeah. was radio silent the entire oh, wow. way because no one talked to me because I was, I, I basically said, you know, flip you and your thing and oh, <laughs> I need to be nice to you now because I need to get home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But they said, seriously, they said that they were not obligated to bring me back. They were just going to leave me there. Oh, my God. There's no wow. obligation because I wasn't working for them anymore. They could have just dumped me there. It was bad. Yeah, it was bad. I mean... As I said, th that company doesn't exist anymore, thank God. Um, yeah, yeah. Because they're a company that work, um, that work on behalf of the charities. They uh, were dodgy. They got, they got uh, cancelled years ago, thank God. Oh, right. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever had any job where I've been abused verbally a lot, and I wouldn't ever put myself in that situation, or I would never accept it, to be honest. No, I, no, I, well, I just, yeah. at the beginning I did, Martin. Towards yeah, yeah. the end, uh, yeah, that, that hard skin, kind of like, I'm never going to see you again, so yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. care. I'm never going to see you again. And actually, who do you think you are speaking to me in that tone? Yes. Like literally, I, I had this one person, this one um, lady, this story will make you laugh. No, I don't mean make you laugh because of the situation. I'll give some yeah. context. So there was this lady um, who was very, very angry because she called the RSPCA 
because a pigeon was stuck in her chimney. So the pigeon had gone down the chimney and got stuck, which is not a laughing matter. Like, that's awful for that poor creature. Um, but what was funny about the, the whole situation was the fact that she called the RSPCA. And, of course, the RSPCA won't attend the scene for a pigeon because a pigeon is classed as vermin. They don't. Yes. They won't rescue vermin. So they class yeah, yeah, a pigeon yeah. as vermin. Unfair as it is, they won't attend. So the poor pigeon was, like, huge and startled and going absolutely in this thing yeah. so she proceeded that that bit's not funny the bit that's funny she proceeded to scream at me and call me a murderer <laughs> in the street awesome. you're a pigeon killer a and pigeon i went you're a bad lunatic can you leave me alone <laughs> please <laughs> yeah. and then wow. she's going on and i'm talking to someone else i said just ignore her i said she's just <laughs> yeah mad. just ignore her yeah she doesn't exist <laughs> yeah she's yeah. a stephanie <laughs> yeah. She probably was a bloody Stephanie as well. Yeah. She probably was. Yeah. <laughs> Best Chris is in. So hi Chris. Hey Chris. Best Big Pig said hey Chris. And yeah, Rats with Wings. Yeah. Exactly yeah. Vermin. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. You know, the poor pigeon didn't need to go through that turmoil like agreed. I would never let any animal go yeah. through that. But it's a case of the RSP saying I'm not going to attend the scene for your pigeon deer. No. It's like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Show this really cute little turtle. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a so taco cute. turtle. Yeah. It's a taco turtle. And then you're, you're one of your favorite stickers inside panel. <laughs> yeah. but not too bad. I, don't can't, I can't say what I think about those inside panel stickers. So I'll say they are not the greatest. <laughs> they are not my friends. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Bonnie's in. Hey. Hey. Oh, and yeah. Man, I'm watching for to put booty cards out. Yes. Yes. We are please, waiting. Please do. They do. They do regularly. Yeah. Just keep yeah. an eye out for the save. Tw normally, if they come up with the deals that save, save 20% on yes. X amount. Normally, that's when they do yeah. it. There's, um, there's current, I mean, there's currently quite a good few deals on at the moment. Um, I mean, I already mentioned I've picked up stuff from the Easter sale from Lego, uh, a couple of sets for Dreams. And then I've also noticed today as well on, I think it was Argus, the, one of the sets I do need to get closer to finish off <laughs> the whole Dreams wave is um, the Tian and the Owl Cat set. Oh. The blue one. I, that have, one. I have some views on, like <laughs> in the show, it looks stunning yeah. absolutely stunning in yeah, lego absolutely. form it yeah. looks i mean nothing's as bad as the head i was gonna say don't you say it's the same as that no that, it's not i will not never meat. compare it to that <laughs> abomination that that abomination with its nasty fingers no no no, no, no. it's not as bad as that um but it does look really really strange like they, they they took some creative liberties to the design of that, um, yes. which is a shame yeah. because we were all wanting that to be so cool. Um, but yeah, no, I'm sorry, but the pigeon, the the Hedwig pigeon, <laughs> is only yeah. ever so slightly um, being boosted by uh, Trevor's video. Oh yeah, very slightly. Yes. Yeah. That, but only very slightly. Yeah. Um, I still don't want it. Yeah, that was the Birmingham store, by the way. So. Was it really? Yes, it was. Yeah, he took he took the uh, video as he was entering the Birmingham store. I know because it's got the um, the man in the shark suit at the at the entry, <laughs> so the big model of him. So mm -hmm. yeah, um... the head would even fly into the shark's mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, bad pigeon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Poor Hedwig getting all this hate. Is Nicole still in the chat? Specifically, <laughs> yeah. the Hedwig, specifically the Hedwig pigeon. Yes. Not Hedwig in general. We no, no, Hedwig, no. But the, not, that, not that pigeon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and straight away, the pigeon's defender arrives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love this about YouTube. You mentioned one thing. Next, we need to mention Ninjago and TJ's going to pop up. Like, yeah, hey. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Did I hear the name of my favourite owl? Yes, yes, you did. No, please don't tell me it's your favourite. Ah, uh, see you later, Kerry. Enjoy your dinner. It looks like it's mid dinner prep. It's like being yeah. plucked for roast. <laughs> yeah, way through. Exactly. <laughs> And uh, Fab saying hi to Nicole. Evening. Hope you have a wonderful start into the week. Yes. Well, we had a wonderful end of the week with the Sunday streamers. You guys out there. So, <laughs> yeah. We do try. Yeah. We yeah. do try, Liz, don't we? We do try. So, <laughs> the bricking with friends, families. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's yeah. in. We're all in. Everyone's here. So, having a good time. Lego and chill. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know. We just need that emote to fly across the screen. Yes, yeah, yeah. But um, that's what I like. That's why I thought like Mondays is a good day. We can get over the working day, you know, chill out, chat, have a laugh, you know. So. Try and be pre watershed in terms of um humor. Attempt. <laughs> Attempt I'm going to say attempt mark. because we've, yeah. we've probably <laughs> gone close to the mark on a few occasions. Yeah, but I've not sworn. I've not sworn, and that is that's that's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Nicole saying hey to Fab. Tom saying hello to everyone. Yes, and we got to remember, yeah, Tom's in the audience, so we have to be yeah, good. Exactly, <laughs> we're being very yeah. nice. Yeah, we're being angels. <laughs> yeah sweetness and, if this and is, light if this, yeah, if this is us at angelic you don't want to see us at devilish <laughs> <laughs> yeah post watershed it's like it's time for bed <laughs> yeah manly monday woohoo yes <laughs> pre watershed oh. what <laughs> what i'm guessing there's um, no filter at work at work, there's no children apart from Joshua, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh! So straight away, that was a that that was a slide. Yeah, you like that? You like that? Yeah, right in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's no children apart from you for that comment. Someone on Instagram said that Abomination Hedwig is better than the Hogwarts Icons Collectors Edition. Maybe Hedwig. they got smacked in the face just like that Hedwig did. Maybe the icons one fell on him and he's got PTSD from that one and he just doesn't want to think about it anymore. The, the <laughs> pigeon Hedwig flew and smacked him in the face and this is the uh, dazed feeling that he's got. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. All he can see now is... <laughs> you know, you see, like, blobs. All you can see now is a Hedwig in his eyesight all the time. Yeah, with, like, <laughs> yeah. nasty fingers, like... Yeah. <laughs> cackling exactly. towards you. Horrid, horrid thing. Abomination. <laughs> abomination <laughs> yeah, yeah it literally is <laughs> yeah whoever put that on instagram somebody needs to do a game of thrones and walk behind that person with a bell going shame shame <laughs> <laughs> shame <laughs> oh. i'm a grown man mm, 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 mm. We'll leave that comment. <laughs> the the sass. Yeah, there was sass in that hmm. There was definite sass in that hmm. It's yeah. like, yeah, you know what I want to say, what I want to say to you, yeah. but it's not going to be said because you know I won't. No, we have to be good. Best behavior. Yeah. The hmm <laughs> said everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No. We're all being very good. Very good on street. Oh, we are. We've wrong. been very good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're going to hear about this tomorrow, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll put these on. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, busy. You know, la, la, la. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nicole's defending Hedwig, so I wouldn't call it an abomination, no. but I admit that Big Hedwig is nicer than the Swan. Yes. Yeah. The icon set, I do want the icon set, to be fair. The icon set is beautiful. Like that Hedwig yeah. is very, very nice. Yes. I mean, as I said, I'm I don't I've never sort of sat and watched Harry Potter from start to finish. I haven't seen a single film. Um yeah, yeah. so 
to buy it by i've got some of the sets that i was given okay like yeah, um, yeah. i've got like the the original clock tower with the wind up clock face so fun yeah, yeah. and it lifts yeah, yeah. the it, yeah that that's an amazing set and then i've got the original um i've got the original is it ford angular the blue one yes yeah the ford yeah. Angular. Yeah. i've got the original ford angular and the um privet drive the original one that was okay. just like a shell of a house yeah yes um so I've got I've got those, but um, I don't have all the all the figures because literally somebody, um, one of my friends at work, her flatmate gifted me um, their Lego collection that had been in a loft. So I had a lot of the, um, so I had a box of um, random bricks that had the mint green base plates and the Paradisa pink and yeah. all of those sorts of things in there so it's really cool but alongside that i was given quite a few harry potter sets okay so. oh, fair enough fair and they well, are real fun to build yeah but i've got any references <laughs> like after after star wars harry potter is the second largest part of my mm. lego collection and I've, I, I, i've said this lots of times I'm a fan of too many things <laughs> that Lego do. So and that yeah, is so why I... I won't watch it because <laughs> then I become one of those people that watches everything. And then I have to have all the wands, all the scarves of the houses. I have to do yes. every single quiz to find out where I belong and which, which uh, yeah. function I'm part of. And then I have to have like the banners on the wall and, uh, yeah, and then yeah. I'd have to have the cloak and yeah. That is why, okay, well, because I'm awful like that. I've got the cloak. I've got wands on the wall. I've got the. I know which house I'm in. <laughs> I've yeah, been to the. See, I've been to the London see. Studio Tour. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 It's fine. It's uh, fine. Yeah. I, I've done Lord of the Rings. Okay. I don't need to do Harry Potter. Fair enough. See, that's the thing. Like Lord of the Rings. I. W I don't. You don't. I wouldn't. You, there's not much stuff you can get apart from obviously if you were to into like. Uh, figurines and statuettes and whatever. Mm. I imagine there's quite a few of them, but um, yeah, outside of that, I don't. Pop. Yeah, um, Funko I don't know if you. I don't know if if Carl's got it, but I've got the Funko Pop of. Um, I don't know if it's the. It might be actually from the Hobbit, Smog, but it's Smog oh, with. The, I got the, yes. the Chase Edition one with like the cat eyes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a really, really rare like Chase Edition of it. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it in the room? <laughs> we don't have we don't have, we don't have smog. Um I've got we've got a bigger <laughs> stack of marshmallow. I've just got so I've got so many. But yeah. We do have some of the movie moments because they're fun. And I've got a couple of the Marvel ones. So I've yeah, got I'm like Thor with his axe going into um Thanos' chest and stuff. Mm. So that one's cool. Um but we do have some of Cole's most expensive ones are the early early game of thrones yeah mm -hmm. early game of thrones ones um like we've got the i think it was john snow and he's got like a white glittery snow on him and that apparently okay. is very rare because it was when funko weren't as big and they were just starting up and it's mm. one of the early franchises they got into so yeah we've definitely got that and that's Apparently, that's that's worth a bit more now than what it was when it first came out. A lot like Lego sets, yeah, they I mean, kind of appreciate. I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, poor poor Carl will probably have a heart attack. But um, when I moved, um, I donated every single fungo pop that I had <gasps> to charity. Single... Yeah, I wow. donated them to give someone else because the thing was is I couldn't fit them here. Like I oh. couldn't have two. I couldn't have two hobbies. And yeah. so rather than sell them because I'd got rid of the boxes because um, so I didn't originally want to get rid of the boxes. So what I ended, what I had done is I flat packed the boxes neatly yes. um, and then I uh, flat packed all the plastic inserts and I kept them all together in a sealed um, in a sealed container. But that sealed container got contaminated. So it yeah. spoiled the lot. So I had to bin them all. So they yeah. were all spoiled. Their water had got in there and moisture, and so all the cars yes, had warped. Yes, yes. So yeah. um, I binned the lot. So I only had the the Funko Pops. Um, so I was like, "They're these are not going to be worth anything because no, none of yeah, them yeah. were valuable ones." But I did have lots okay, of them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just yeah. donated them all to charity and let someone else enjoy them. 
Yeah. Josh is coming in with the dad joke, by the way. <laughs> I should hope you know what house you're in. It would be weird to be streaming in someone else's. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah, just suddenly have a knock on the door. It's just like, yeah. who the... Yeah, it'd be, it'd be like a, through the keyhole. And whose house is this? <laughs> 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 You wouldn't know, want to know what you walk into. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> Let's turn the light off, shall we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Fab saying, it's worth it, Mark. I know my house, wand, and Patronus. So, yeah, that's the other ah, thing you can do okay. with the Patronus test. I'm a fan of too many things, also. It, yeah. Lord sounds... of the Rings. Not going to go there. So. This, is a, this is a PG stream. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter are my main ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. But yeah. You try and keep Lego as my main theme just because it makes it easier. Although um, although I do like my Switch and I play Animal Crossing and I have all the pretty much all the Pokemon games. I played those since the the, the original ones. I oh, had yeah, yeah, um yeah. I had my first one was we had Pokemon Red, that was my yes. brother's, and I had Pokemon Yellow, and I had it in a oh. Game Boy Pocket. And then I got the Game Boy Advance um, later on. So I had Pokemon Silver and played Pokemon Silver on the on the pocket. And then I got a Game Boy Advance with Pokemon Sapphire. And so then I then went on from there and just had most of them. Yeah. Yeah. Josh likes Pokemon. <laughs> yes. Josh is yeah. Pokemon. So yeah, and, and the thing is, is that I was huge, huge. Like, when I was younger, I was huge in sweat. Like, I had yeah, all yeah. of the stuff. Everything. Well, I, I mean, obviously, I'm of an age where I remember it coming on, on Live and Kicking. Was it Live and Kicking on a Saturday morning? With, I'm uh, afraid I'm too it... young to remember. <laughs> <laughs> is Cat Dealey? Anton Deck. Yeah, no, Dealey. no, I remember. Of course. Yeah. Uh, no, Cat Dealey wasn't on a Live and Kicking. That was... Um... Oh, um, that Cat Dealey was on SNTV Live. You're oh. thinking of um, Alive and Kicking, wasn't that Jamie Thinks and Zoe Ball? I can't remember now. Don't, it meant, don't definitely... age me, Martin. No. <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> no. It was definitely the one with. I'm sure it was the one with Anton Deck. So that's SNTV. Yeah, so it's probably on that Day one. morning TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember when it very first came out here, because it was a, a manga. Uh, an anime, sorry, not a manga. Manga's comics. Uh, when it was a, because it was an anime. You you just um, angered so many people know, by yeah. saying an anime is a manga. Because <laughs> yeah. it was an anime. Um, yes. They didn't know if that kind of animation style was mm. going to take over here, and Pokemon was the first one that kind of came to the West, as it were. Yeah, I mean it's it's amazing. I mean, um, I mean you think about, you know, everyone has a. I love for the the first 151. Of course they yes. do. Like those are the ones that people grew up with. But I love the second generation as well. Like I loved all the little baby ones. Like you had the little Pichu and your Togepi. Yeah. Those are so cute. Like you had these yeah. little tiny. Like Pokemon Silver is one of my favorite Pokemon games. It's just so fun because you had the night and the day cycle. You had to decipher the um, unknown. Uh, like um hieroglyphs on the wall it was so good like i have <laughs> yeah, fond, yeah. fond memories we're talking josh's language <laughs> the stream has gotten to me but, no, we, yeah. we can carry we can carry on we can carry on Tom's, Tom's um, okay fair enough yeah and, but the uh, thing is is that the switch the switch okay. games i mean you know not the best they they no. are no they they, they Ah, oh, you love Soul Silver. You're not old enough for Silver. Wow, thank you for that. That's delightful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the game yeah. the Game Boy. You know, the thing that you probably played the retro console on your um you could, you like could probably 3DS. play an emulator on your phone playing it now. So yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's probably emulated. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. So so yeah. <laughs> Josh is talking my language. Legends Arceus, such an amazing game. Legends Arceus is so fun. <laughs> have you have you played Legends Arceus, Martin? No, I I actually haven't played a lot of Pokemon games. I okay, watched so... the... <laughs> I watched the TV show, the anim the animation. Because cartoons mm. is definitely one of my big things. I love I love TV. I love cartoons and stuff so yeah so i watched the animation i've seen the movies 
Um, but the actual games, I've only ever played like bits, and I've never completed one. So, okay, we need yeah. to take you through <laughs> how to play and how to complete those games because you can't make that legend statement. And uh, no, you, you, we're going to take you through it. We're going to have a play series, and you're going to play the, yeah. out of it. Yes, you think I'm yeah. joking? I I did a um. I did so. What I used to do um, with my friends, um, so I, I used to Twitch stream Animal Crossing. So those those um, friends that have been on, have seen me play video games on Twitch, will know that I played Animal Crossing. Um, and so what I used to do is I used to like design, do the happy home designer and I design islands oh. and uh, design uh, characters' homes for them. Good night, Tom. Um, Sorry, then... just did... <laughs> no, no, it's Tom. Like, See good. <laughs> has, has he gone? Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, so I would help. Uh, I would help friends. I'd go over to their island and help them. So I helped my friend Brenda. Went over to her island, decorated the house for her. I did okay. it like a home designer um, program for her. Yeah, so yeah. It, it was brilliant. But um, so I have a capture card for the for the switch. Um, so uh, okay, I'm thinking I need to send you that. Have you got a switch? Have you got a Nintendo Switch? I do have a switch. Yes, yes, yeah. I do have. A so switch. I think I need to yeah. send you that so that you can do it. <laughs> um, yeah. just that you can actually do it because um, Legends Arceus, um, as Josh said, is amazing. So think about an alternate timeline. Yes. Pre pre first generation pokemon okay. so before yeah, the yeah. creation of the pokeball okay oh, okay go a bit yeah, further yeah. back um and think of think of a pokeball but instead of it being press button to undo think of it almost like a an old school container it is just yeah uh, legends Arc is so cool it's mission based so you go out and capture re you do research so it might be you find um, like several uh, Bidoof, which is a yes. super cute. Yeah. Poke. So you find several Bidoof. So you have to go and find them. And then you might have to catch one whilst it's running and then catch another one whilst it's eating grass and such like that. So there's like lots of different missions that you've got. So you essentially um, stealthily go and catch them. It is, it's phenomenal. The storyline is amazing. It has a really brilliant anime style. You you will love the animation style of it as well. It's done so good. It's not like 3D modern modern look. Yeah, it's yeah. got an animation style to it. You honestly, Marta, you would love it. You would oh, absolutely cool. love it. As Josh said, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just <laughs> Bonnie's coming in with stuff about the RSP. Do you think Bonnie might be a little bit behind on the stream? <laughs> Best. Funny if just if check you were hearing live, this, if yeah. you're hearing this message, click yeah. the live button. We yeah, think you're behind, be, Maxine. You might be slightly behind. Bless. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so we we yeah, the SSPCA. So that's why she was having a go at me. That lady in the street was having a go at me because she thought yeah. the SSPCA would attend. It's like, yeah, but you're not asking for the SSPCA love, are you? You're asking for the SSPCA. Yeah. What did what did I say earlier? You say a certain word and somebody will appear. Yes. Yeah. TJ appears when you mentioned Ninjago. Yeah. yeah. So we there's did, um did. there's yeah. Ursa. So Josh refer references Ursa Luna. So there are some um alternative Pokemon designs in Arceus. So you get oh, different okay. styles and different different forms of them. Um and yeah, there are some really awesome ones. And they become um a bit like if you're playing World of Warcraft, you have your mounts. Yes, so yes, these Pokemon yes, yes, become yes. mounts, so you can like ride them oh, around. Okay. So it's so it's so cool. It is yeah. so so good. I just wanna I just wanna smile when you say that word. <laughs> what word? <laughs> Mounts. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Mind of a teenager. <laughs> so rude. So so what? rude. <laughs> yes. Just because the young lad's well, gone to you. bed does not excuse you for being <laughs> inappropriate. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and TJ saying hey back. Cool. Yes. Um, oh, TJ, yeah. At the beginning of the stream, we were talking about that whole AI debacle. But um, yeah, so yes. if you didn't get it, go back and watch the intro at some point. Not right now. 
stay live. Otherwise, you'll be back with Bonnie somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Apparently, Martin, you are a child at work. What? What? What is it? What? What is saying? I am the one who acts like a grown up all work. Mine is a child. I am not. I am not a child. I bring fun, <laughs> a childlike fun <laughs> to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there is there is something fun about playing um, video games as well. Yes. I mean, um, I do play. I, I do play video games. But I'm normally. Um, like RPGs, mm -hmm. like single player RPGs. I'm not really into the whole. No, multi, I'm not either. Multiplayer stuff. So, so what is your go-to then? What's your go-to console and what's your go-to franchise? Uh, PS5 is my console, and I've played a lot. Well, pretty much almost all of the Assassin's Creed. The last couple I haven't caught up with, <laughs> um, but Assassin's Creed or because I love mythology, God of War, like every single one of those, they're mm -hmm. all good. So, yeah, just um, those kind of games. And then sometimes I do play some silly games. I've played some Fortnite, but it, I'm no good at it. <laughs> Tom was, Never uh, ever Tom... touched it. I'm yeah. just like, I can't, I can't. I, I see people have like, lots of fun with it, but I'm literally yeah. like, I can't. I, 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 I actually can't. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Tom, Tom plays it, and he was like, um, oh, um, I'll add you. And I'm like, okay, uh, make sure you ask your dad first. But <laughs> yeah, like, um, <laughs> yeah, and I did say to him, I was like, look, I'm useless. So yeah, don't expect to win just because I'm playing, because I'm not that good. Yeah. So yeah <laughs> so play so playstation is um the playstation side of things is uh where i we started so me and my brother got a playstation one a, a pre-owned playstation one with four games uh when we were younger to share um yeah, yeah. so that was our first introduction into into gaming i'd obviously okay, played yeah. the Sega. i'd played the um sega master system and the mega drive before and yeah, um, there yeah. used to be like an after school club we used to go to. Um, and so they had Sonic. So my very first okay. memory is um, the Mega Drive playing Sonic. So yes. that's why um, I have a, a love for Sonic because it's so, so cool. Um, but the PlayStation 1 or the, uh, you know, the original PlayStation, we bought four games. And what's hilarious is those four games are still um, the four franchises that me and my brother have the most. Um, okay. And that was. Final Fantasy Seven. I love my Final Fantasy series. Like yep. absolutely adore it. Like love it. Love its pieces. Um, Tomb Raider series. We got Tomb Raider Two. Final Fantasy Seven. Tomb Raider Two. Gran Turismo. And then we got FIFA Road to World Cup ninety eight. And that is going to age me. But those were the four games that we got pre owned, um, and we played the heck out of those games. Um, yes. And I still to this day have um I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan. Play all of them, got all of them. Yes. Fun yeah, Fantasy yeah. fan, played all of them, got all of them. Um, and Gran Turismo played up to the PS4 VR version, which was phenomenal. But I don't <laughs> okay, have a PS5. Yeah. So all um, right, okay. But I have PlayStation <laughs> VR, although my VR headset um has the um, rubber is disintegrated off of the headset, so I need to oh, contact right, okay. about that. And so it's, I, I think it's like, I don't know where, why it's disintegrated, but it has. So I'm just like, mm, I need to get that fixed. But um, okay. yeah, so I have a, I have a PlayStation 4. But we, we were, so fun facts, the other thing, before I got back into Lego, I was a, a retro video game collector. So I have a huge oh, okay. backlog of uh, video games. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have wow. loads and loads and loads that are all in a blanket box at the bottom of my bed. And... See, I can, I can, I can think back when people say about video games. Obviously, a lot of even young adults today only know console video gaming and stuff because that's was around when they were brought up. You know, the Playstations and stuff. But like yeah. you say, I remember the Master System, the Mega Drive. I remember my first gaming computer was a spectrum with the tape deck and you used to put yes. the tape in yes push, go. and you had to press the oh my goodness yeah. me and it was like the first one we ever played um was i can't remember 
we had it literally till we moved because we stored it in the cupboard <laughs> for years i mean it would have been the most dangerous dangerous thing to switch on now because it was a, it was a um a proper um one of the proper tvs you know the big TVs. oh yeah 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 um, TRT it, TV. Yeah, yeah, the TRT, yeah, TRT ones. And so you'd switch on the, you'd put, you'd put the cassette in and it was a paper round that you'd play. Like, so oh, yes. And, like, throw the papers. Yes. Um, yes, paper boy, wasn't it? Yeah, and you'd like have that. to yeah. wait 30 seconds for it to load. You'd yes, type yeah. the command play, press yeah. enter, and then you'd have to wait for it to load. Yes. Yes, yeah. So I remember that. Um, See, I but, remember, yeah. It's, it's I remember so those games. Fun. I remember um, one I used to play a lot was called Bubble Bobble, and you mm-hmm. were this like little monster, and you'd open your mouth and you'd release bubbles, and your bubbles would capture the bad guys and float them away, and you had to jump for different things, and then all these bad guys would come across the screen to try and get you, and you'd have to like try and capture them in your bubbles. <laughs> so, so there's yeah. so many fun. There's so many fun games like this. There's so much yeah. out there. Um, yeah. I, I love it, and I, I love the fact that we're now in a generation where we are getting those games that we remember being redone. Yes. So we get to see like lots of them redone. Like I've just literally on the Switch got the um, Tomb Raider One Two Three Remastered. Collection. Oh yes, yes, I saw beautiful, that like absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I never saw it coming to be honest. You always <laughs> want something like that to come. And then, then it came back, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Like, yeah, like well, I think when you think <laughs> the thing is, like now with with the graphics and stuff we've got today, and then you go back to the games you used to play, and you're like, how is that block a person? You know, like, <laughs> so yeah, like but back then it was the best thing ever. Yeah. It was like nothing can ever beat these graphics. Yeah. As you know, you're yeah. trying to. <laughs> grab something using just a clawy hands like give me that yes. item thank you and yeah. it's like and now then, it's <laughs> i think it's the same well if you think about it, lego's fairly similar if you look at old lego they're very blocky and it's only because mm. of new elements and stuff that's right we've got yeah. lots of curve elements whereas when you look at the classic town it's all yes. brick yeah, yeah so you've yeah. got the slope but it's all you know 45 degree angle slopes yes and very blocky no windows yes. you've got probably got the window um lattice frames yes the, the garden yeah, fences it, yeah. and such yeah but you you don't have anything like that and then the tires were always the same tiny little <laughs> tires with the treads yes um yeah it's, it's, so yeah very very cool it's uh very fond of those those old memories of the uh, the old stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, even even when you think about, so I've got the child to build, and I like the look of the child, and I've never liked the look of the buildable Yoda, because buildable it's Yoda little, is very it's a little bit cursed. It's it's those yeah. eyes. Well, I mean, those eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also just because. It has. It doesn't have the curves. It is very blocky. It's very much like how you see the um, Lego molds, the Lego uh, builds uh, mm-hmm. in shops and displays. You know, but obviously they're done a lot bigger, so the curves aren't as your uh, eyes pixelated. filled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. eyes filled the detail in, so it becomes yeah. less less pixelated from a distance because your brain yes. and your eyes like fill in the. The edges yeah. and smooth them out. I need to dis- I actually I should I should start using Lego at work because when I try to explain to people um resolution in graphics, uh particularly when they, they they are not in any way design like mentally in any way, they're just I'm going you, like, you call you in Josh me- not design mentally. <laughs> no, 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 no I'm about Josh. Okay. Yeah. Just just, just, about just 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 saying customers. Customer. Customers. Yeah. Okay. When you Not say Josh, to customer. yeah, when you say to people who, um, as I say, don't work with graphics or anything, you say to them, they you say, right, send me a logo and we can like put it on a t-shirt, or whatever. And oh. they send you this thing, and it is the most blocky thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Somebody drew it on MS Paint, and it's like bad. <laughs> it's like yeah, and you're like, okay, right, I need a high quality one. I need a like a three hundred. Uh, DPI or whatever, and they just go, 
what? And they, they literally don't know what you're on about. I'm like, okay. So then you have to describe it. Like, right, you need to have a minimum of this many pixels by this many pixels, um, you know, to make it this. Or you need a, 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 a vector graphic because that's yeah. mathematical shapes as opposed to pixels. Yeah. And yeah they, you, they just, it's they easy just... to make those now. Like most, yeah. most programs will export to, yes. you know, scalable vector graphics now. Yes, that's true. And, um, I mean, you've even got... You've got programs online for free that you can actually put a a JPEG or something in, and it will convert it to an SVG for you as well, um, which I have done. <laughs> um, but yeah, and yeah, so I I, th I think I need to start talking to people about like right. If you have four bricks and you try to make a circle, it's not going to make a circle. Okay, <laughs> if you've got three hundred bricks, you can make more of a circle. That's the same with graphics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Josh has picked up on his name being mentioned. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not a what now. I didn't quite catch that. I mean, that was very rude, that word that was used. I mean, I know, oh, I know. I can't believe I said that. Yeah. Uh, you know. The word that came out your mouth at, at <laughs> just after 10 to 8. Goodness me. And you said watershed. <laughs> yeah. God, such a rude word. Gentlemen, oh, oh, said it again. <laughs> I missed a couple of comments. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been playing Lego DC Super Villains. Oh, that is a great game. That is it a is good really game. Good. I'm very close to completing the game. Skywalker Saga is next on my list. Yes, Skywalker. Saga. I bought that. I bought that when it released. That was a good game as well. Very good. And I've not. Not 100 percented any film that game yet, but played through the story. It's a, it's a fun game. There's some really good callbacks in that game as well. You can put on like mumble mode for the old Lego style games and stuff. It's wicked. Ah. Yeah. And those Lego games are fun. Like the Lego Island. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Lego Island is so fun where you're walking around as um that little pizza boy. Oh. Um it, it, Josh, if you've Josh, not gonna seen... have to yeah. If you've not seen Lego Island, YouTube, watch YouTube videos on <laughs> Lego Island, the PC. Honestly, there's a huge following for it. It yeah. is, think of it like an open world, classic Lego city style. Yes. Um, it's so fun. And it's it's very Windows 95, maybe yeah. Windows 98 at a pinch. <laughs> like that sort of game. It was, um, it was good. But you, you'd, so you did you you'd go through like um a story and then it would ask you to build a car so the yes. lego would the 3d instructions would like you'd build a car like grab the pieces and you'd build the little car yeah, up yeah. and then you would drive it around very fun very very fun yeah All right let's catch up on a couple of these comments um i'm not going to mention the games i played as a kid because it would seriously age me <laughs> okay so i've got about like Pong. <laughs> so like <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I, I I know roughly how... <laughs> Oh dear. Boop. Boop. <laughs> no, no. No, I know I know I know I know Lisa's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all in we're all in the same ballpark here, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um oh we've been through these and I used to, I'm used to, oh, I'm used to this abuse at work, don't worry, yeah. Yeah, he is, it's fine. Water off a duck's back with Josh. <laughs> yeah. I want to replay the Ninjago movie game someday, probably after Sky Wars. To be mm. fair, that is one I have not played. I have not played the Ninjago one. So, that would the be... Thing uh, is, that's those, those, especially yeah. the Telltale Lego games, they were really, really yes. good. Like They were they so were. much fun. Yeah, yeah. They were lots of fun. And uh, the Batman series is really good in that as well. So mm. I, I do really like those. And uh, Trevor's just popped in. Hi, hey, Trev. Trevor. Hope you're good. 
Did you come in because your kid went out? You're like, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> like, you yeah. get out. I'm coming in. <laughs> yeah. Now we can go for. Now we can go for the PG thirteen. Tucked up in bed, right? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah. Um. So what? Um. What games do you you've played the you've obviously played the new Animal Crossing and you've got a whole island and everything going on. I have, so, yes. Yeah. Are you are you bringing that back to your streams? I am point? hoping to. Yeah. So, um, my hope is to. But I put a poll out. Gosh, it must have been at least six months ago, and said to um the community, "Did you want me to do alternate streams between Lego and Animal Crossing? Because I'll do a mm -hmm. week of Animal Crossing and a week of Lego, week of Animal Crossing, week of Lego." And yes. um, unanimously, it was like, "We love watching you build Lego. Like that's so much fun." I was like, "Okay, so I'll put the uh, Animal Crossing thing to to the side." Um, okay. But I used to play Animal Crossing all the time, like okay, yeah, religiously. Yeah. I played it for months on stream, um, to the point where literally I have. About, I'd say at least half of the happy home designer complete. There's 400 villagers, and I think okay. I'm close to 200 villagers having their homes decorated. Oh. Wow. Okay. So literally, wow. you go, um, you you go into the homes, and it's literally like a home makeover show. So it's like changing yes. rooms all over again. So you just <laughs> yeah, go yeah. in, and you just walk into this house. It's just like this bear house and they're like i want this to look like a playground it's like right okay. Um, okay and they give you three items that you have to decorate this place with so that's their three desirables it doesn't cost you anything like you can literally throw so much at this the game doesn't charge you it's like it's animal crossing it doesn't oh, charge okay. you tom nook charges you for stuff on the yes. island in real life but this is kind of like a, a a service so you can use unlimited stuff to decorate the place so they give you these three things, but essentially it's up to you to decorate it. So I would always come up with a story for each of the um, villagers. So I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah. this is this is this particular character. But one of the things that made um, the streams the funniest ever was my sass level when it came to certain villagers. So there'd be a certain villager that would walk onto the island and I would just be like, I'd walk past, and then my quick, not thinking about it, one liners would have people in stitches, and I wouldn't even be thinking about it. Uh, there was what there was this horse, this this black horse with like red demonic eyes, and um, he's like staring, eating a popsicle. I said, "Finish that damn popsicle! Get the hell off of my island, you abomination!" You know, I'd like <laughs> say that, and and it was just like in my mind, I'm thinking, it, and I would just say it out loud, and then people would yeah. capture it in a quote so there are about oh. a dozen quotes on my twitch stream of villagers names and then the quote oh fair it's enough. so funny <laughs> honestly i think one stream we had like four quotes captured for for villagers because <laughs> i literally roasted villagers not not uh, actually okay. roasted them most of them <laughs> yes yeah, it was stick just them on a spit. It was just, yeah <laughs> and i think that's why the streams were most enjoyable is because People came along because they wanted to see, you know, the, the, the SAS level. And I didn't anticipate it being like that. But it's yeah, really yeah. difficult because you obviously have your favourite villagers. And then you have those yes. villagers that are just horrid, like <laughs> Shari, with her oh, yeah. peace stained hands. So she she's modelled after the monkey <laughs> that literally has urine on its hands. So there is oh. a type of monkey that literally soaks its hands in urine. It is a true thing. And, and she is she is um modeled on that, but she is the most obnoxious villager ever. Plus, she's on an island, Martin. She's surrounded yeah. by water. So why the hell has she got <laughs> he all over her hands? There is no yeah, excuse. Yeah. Go and wash your damn hands. Like, and it was small <laughs> things like that that would kind of people would just find hilarious. It was yeah. so funny. Um yes. So I realised that um, people were tuning in not just for the uh, Lego fun, as it was tuning in for the Animal Crossing fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> she sounds like she's taking yeah. a piss. Exactly, Trevor. 
She's yeah. taking a piece of <laughs> yeah, exactly. like her hands. <laughs> She's like moisturizer, you know. It was not like oh, it's disgusting. Like the thought of her is like, and then she come on the island. She's like, "Hi, cheeky, how are you? Get off my island! Get <laughs> off!" Like literally, off. grab the net and like smack her across the head. Like, get off my island. Take a hint. <laughs> oh. So of course she came up as one of the villagers that I had to decorate a place for. Yes. So I was like, right, I've got this. So she's like, I want this, this, and this. I'm like. Yeah, whatever. You ain't getting that. So <laughs> I literally had this empty room and then I made it trash mountain. So literally oh. I decorated it with like bags yeah. of uh, black bags, leaves all over the floor, like yes. a really disgusting looking floor, cage around. Um, There's like dustbins and everything thrown in there. Like, rot you know, so all this horrible thing. And then I just put her in and I said, here's your new home live here <laughs> and she's walking around this home going hmm because hmm. the game wouldn't have been <laughs> negative and i'm just no. thinking you are permanently living there because i've yeah. got the key and you'll just be locked in your trash mountain enjoy your life yeah, yeah so, here's your life in squalor <laughs> yeah exactly you're now locked away where you deserve far away from the rest of us and it was that sort yeah. of mentality so um that's yeah. the yeah. that was my gaming on twitch yeah it was very funny you, like, people yeah. people love it it's very fun i say i know you said you, you've got a few clips that you saved that you archived i do i do <laughs> yeah. YouTube. so um i used to um upload all of my streams unlisted to archive them but then it got to a point where it was just too much to do it because twitch would automatically um <laughs> It's only a game. I know. Game, yeah. It was the it was uh, it the whole point of it, Trevor, was it was the drama that came with it. It was part of the comedy <laughs> yeah. factor. It's the drama yeah. because I would create stories, so then I'd get invested mm. in these stories. Yeah. Um and, and people and found everyone it in the audience so right funny. now is going, Mark drama never. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, so and everyone who knows him goes, Have you met Mark? <laughs> Yeah. do you do you know of my existence yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um the the funniest the, the funniest two streams i've ever done with the most controversy are the two that you were referring to martin those are the two um tier list streams the animal crossing yeah. villager tier list streams oh, those yes. are met yeah, with yeah. the most drama <laughs> out of any stream ever i yeah. literally was having a full on debate slash borderline argument about a particular villager it's like you wow. can't put them in that category yes i can put them in that category yeah. they are horrible <laughs> wow as say nicole said she's never even met her so I oh sorry that, yeah yeah that's a blessing nicole it's <laughs> a blessing just be grateful she doesn't come. You're when you when she arrives in your campsite and you see her, you'll be like, "Oh, oh, now I understand." Yeah. yeah. Go into the campsite, take one look, don't even acknowledge, walk away, and wait for tomorrow where she disappears. Best yeah. advice. Throw her in <laughs> the sea. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have a wash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, there's this whole different. Um, side and it is all jestful and fun like yes. it was it was it's just all done out of jest and fun yeah. um and it was just to create a bit of a law for when people came along like a bit like the stephanie law as well yeah it's yeah, it's yeah. funny i like creating these little scenarios where people could just have a bit of fun and just laugh about it i mean yeah, yeah. ultimately stephanie's a piece of plastic like it doesn't matter <laughs> But the yeah. the whole premise behind it and the whole yeah. fun behind it is what people like getting behind, and it's just it's just a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I enjoy yeah. doing. I enjoy storytelling and giving a whole different side to things. Because yeah. and when Mark it, says um, she's she's a bit of plastic, as in she's made of it, like she's had so much work done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She also resembles, um, she, you know, her spirit animal isn't an animal. Yeah. Her spirit object is a secondhand dartboard. Read between <laughs> the lines as to where she got that from. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. 
best. Yeah, this is the other side of Mark, everyone. <laughs> yeah, this it's is Mark it, off yeah. his stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's again, it's it's all the fun that comes with it. I I just like having fun, and um, it's just fun to vibe and jest off of people. And if the, if someone else gets a laugh out of it, and it just you know turns a frown upside down into a laugh and a joke, yeah. then that's all it's about. That's all it's about. Yeah. Life's too serious, and sometimes we just have to have a laugh and a joke. Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Right, uh, next bag, we've got Zoe, by the way. So here's Zoe. She's so cool. She's so cool. That Purple hair. hair. Yeah. That hair is so cool. So, do you like Zoe? She's got a she's got a bit of attitude in the... So in do the, you think uh, if there was a full-size Zoe wig, would you rock that wig? Would I rock that wig? Yeah. I, have, yeah. I mean, look, yeah. I just put this slot this this way. And then, yeah. <laughs> And then um, we have a Grim Spawn as well. Nice little Grim Spawn. With the plume um, uh, in transparent pink, which is always yes. cool. And he's being naughty because in this scene in the book, uh, he's actually popping the wheels on the van. Which oh. is nice. I like this. I like the storytelling. Yes, it's brilliant. And the art style is fantastic. Yeah. So he's popped they, the wheels. They... The art <laughs> style of this book, um, that's right, is very Monkey Kid-esque. So if you've seen the Monkey Kid um, art design, it's very similar. Oh, I love okay. the, the cartoonish style of it. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. So um, here's the, like the van, pretty much, as the van, which is cool. It's very nice. Very, very it's real. Not a VW. Very... It's not a VW no. van. No, no. I know. Um People were saying it's kind of styled like one, but yeah, it's not exactly. I think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed yeah. to be one without the license. Yeah, but um, yeah, this is the point where we have a choice. So we can either go uh, turtle um, on land, I suppose, or we can have the flying version. Hang on, let me uh, mm. make this bigger so people can see what the actual. And do you are. know how the the turtle flies, Martin? Well, I don't want to say what's coming out of his rear end, but <laughs> I was going to say, um, unfortunately, it is powered by the rear end. Yeah, because <laughs> the turtle might like the chili, but the chili not yes. like the turtle if you catch him adrift. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got some rear thrust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, oh dear. Yeah. So, everyone in the chat, do you want to go with the blue side or the green side? Let me know, and we will uh, build whichever one people want to build. Uh, let's bring us back down. So, yeah. So blue for on land or green for um, rear propelled flight. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whoever wants blue for the land, the land turtle. Yeah, the the land turtle is is so so cool. I think I stuck with the land turtle when I did it. The flying yeah. one was a little bit um whilst it was a kind of funny premise. Ooh, so <laughs> Nicole, of course, has gone for green. Yeah. Blue, <laughs> blue. Green. Blue. And I think you have a winner. I think, yeah. Oh, Bonnie's gone oh. for green. Two oh, green, two four green, blue. Two green, Do we have four more blue. Green? Anyone else any there? more green? I haven't voted yet. Yeah, what what would you like, Mark? Green. Oh, green. Oh, four three, four three. Four, <laughs> three. Yeah, so we need one more green to tie, two more greens yeah. for green to win, or another blue to take it. At the moment, it's blue in the lead. Yeah. So if there's Anyone someone who hasn't there? voted, the thing is, Martin, Anyone? you haven't voted. You haven't no, voted. I'm waiting for I will do whatever, whatever. Are you not going to sway the votes? Do I swear that? Yeah. Um, I'd keep it as a van if I get the set. Yeah. So all these other pieces, you just yeah. And <laughs> the cost to create another account. Oh, blue's done it. Oh, blue's Chris done it. Come with Chris blue. is coming okay. with the blue. <laughs> Chris is like, Chris let got... me sign on quickly. Blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, unlurk. Yeah. <laughs> we tried, friends. We tried so, for the uh, the rear thrust powered <laughs> vehicle. Yeah, that's what chilies do to you. 
Fair <laughs> enough. But that's what chilies do to the turtle. Yeah. Um, the Polish, I used to work with some Polish girls. They used to have a saying about um, spicy food. Um, it's spicy twice, it's... if you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yes, uh, it is. On the way in and on the way yeah, out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Like, do you like yes. to taste your foods twice? <laughs> no. Yeah. no. Um, but also, I mean, unfortunately, I do enjoy spices, but much like this turtle van, spices do not enjoy me. <laughs> <laughs> so you get yeah. to work, you have like a chilli first thing in the morning, and it's just like, that's how you propel to work quickly. That's it, yeah. That's how I get to work in two <laughs> minutes flat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I wouldn't want to be around you for the smell. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's good that we don't have smell a vision, you know. <laughs> well, I can't, I can't imagine that it would be, you know, a great eau de parfum being around you after that travel to work. How do you know? I might be Jean. It might be Jean Paul Gaultier. Hello. <laughs> yeah. if, if you are in. Jean Paul Gaultier. <laughs> yeah. Then I, we need to have words, Mister, because if you're consuming, wait, don't read into that. But if you're consuming Jean Paul Gaultier, <laughs> and there's a lot more worry factors in than whether yeah. you poop it out or fart it out, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's definitely not a statement to say out loud, is it? Really? Oh uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Uh, oh dear, we're, we're we're nearly an hour before nine. So then we, I know <laughs> we're yeah. trying so hard not to be inappropriate. <laughs> right, let's catch up on what we've got going on. Here. Um, so yeah, Fab is happy that we've gone with the blue side. Uh, <laughs> Lady McBrick laughing away. Meet Brick saying, hey to Trevor. Oh, <laughs> I'll switch to my other <laughs> YouTube account. Too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start swaying the vote. Yeah. Um, it was saying, hey to Nicole. And Nicole saying, hello, team back. So, hey, Trev from Bonnie. Hey, Midi. And. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's oh, like see, Nicole is very oh, naughty. So, so yeah. technically, it's after the war <laughs> in Germany. Yeah, in Germany. Well, thank... No, I won't do it. I, I don't say, swear we, on other we, people's we any... stream without prior permission. Do you know any German? <laughs> <laughs> swear in German. I'm not yeah. even going to attempt to, because I would butcher the, the uh, living heck out oh, of the it. German language. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure yes. Nicole could teach us naughty words in German. Yeah, to be fair. I mean, I did study German at GCSE, but that's just gone. Uh, you know, it sticks. It didn't stick. It did, Yeah. I don't know how I passed. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. So I don't remember if you were uh, that. I know it's so cool, isn't it? Those pieces Love are just the amazing. Yeah. The, um, so did you, ha you haven't built the tree house yet, have you, Martin? Do no, have I haven't got the. Build? I've still got the treehouse. Yeah, the treehouse is yet so, to build. So there's an hilarious, um, there's a hilarious stream. I mean, it's long gone now because I don't archive them anymore. So it's one of those ones you have to be there to see it. And it's um, you might have been now. I can't remember, but do, do you remember the just before? Is this something about Z Blob? Yes, I I yes. think I caught I must have... Indige. Yeah. No, I was. I did see some of them. But I think when that bit was, I must have maybe missed that one. Oh my goodness! But the, me. The, the, then the one after it, I remember people mentioning it. I think Nicole yeah. was there. Nicole won't remember it, but um, the <laughs> um, so in the tree house, the dreams tree house, um, Z Blob yeah. comes as one of the little characters, so like your Grimspawn, but in in transparent, yes. um, a green torso with transparent oh. head, like this little guy, like the little sprite. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's him. Yeah. So that's so yeah. Zblock has exactly like that. But Zblock comes with um a rope piece. Okay. You know the rubber rope that they've got. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But in green. The problem is, is that when you attach it to him and turn it at a certain angle, 
it points oh. upwards at a certain angle and looked very wrong no matter how <laughs> he was supposed to attach it so it looked like he wasn't holding on with his hands if you catch my drift yes i get what you're saying <laughs> he was using the third yeah. hands to hold on to stuff mm -hmm. yeah. so um it was very very funny and um well i just remember just trying to there was no way of, around it you could <laughs> not i had to remove him from the street i literally had to yeah, remove yeah. him from the screen <laughs> because it was just like you are too rude to be on the screen i'm going to yeah. have to remove you away because your appendage yeah. looks very rude <laughs> right now yeah. and so and it was so funny because it was so unintentional but where yeah. that piece is attached to Z Blob, it yeah. doesn't matter what angle, it just looked really naughty. And yeah. so I get it. Because of the way it yeah, angles um... and holds onto the hand. So Yeah, because they, they, they only attach under the arm, don't they? So like this yes. little guy here. Yes. So it attached yeah. under the arm. So you can imagine that at... <laughs> Yeah, if he's like So Ooh. say no yeah. more with your gunmetal yeah. rod. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've never heard it called so, yeah. that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you lived? <laughs> yeah. Um... It's still yeah, only quarter are, past. We've we got yeah, to be good. We're German time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was extremely funny because yes. we're trying our hardest to, to kind of carry on building. Because <laughs> I do try to keep the streams family friendly because I do know there are young children that are watching. So I try not to, um, I don't <laughs> advertise as family friendly because no. situations such as that, there ain't no yes. way of making that PG. It was just like, this was literally Z Bob's no, or B. Yeah. And there was no way about it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. But there's also, isn't there funny. something about, um, and I could be wrong, but YouTube, if your channel gets classed as, a children's channel that actually it cuts out so much of your audience it does because, because you can't yeah. comment um uh so co you can't comment on a um yeah. a, a youtube kids video um yes. it gets pushed via the youtube kids video and the website yes. yeah, version yeah, yeah. of it so you won't get the audience that you would yeah, normally yeah. get so the algorithm will push it to children not to adults yeah, yeah. but there's a very strict um there's a very strict um when you upload so you'll you'll know from when you've uploaded videos in the past when you go into youtube studio it's very very yes. strict when you go through the video process and it yes, says yeah, is yeah, yeah. any part of this intended for children and if you yeah. tick that um it goes through an algorithm and screens your video to make sure because yeah. otherwise you know you could be uploading and it you know an explicit music video and saying this is for kids and then it's yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah effing a blind and so um it scrapes through the 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 video to make sure it's child friendly but of course when you put it up it instantly becomes youtube kids um and oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that's uh, where copper came in so copper obviously hurt a lot of content creators because of that because they were not allowed so they if they were marketed towards children they weren't allowed to um, earn revenue, <laughs> add revenue, and like get ads from it. Yeah. Yes, so, yes, yes. Um, so a lot of content creators like Jang went over to Twitch. Yes. So they okay. lost Jang to Twitch. So Jang still has videos on YouTube where he does reviews and such, but yeah, yeah. he couldn't. He lost his a lot of his audience because, oh, because of course, they made it yeah. So one hundred percent family friendly. Like Jang, you know, I, I'm fortunate enough to have. Um, you know, interacted with Jang and um, I raised yes. into Jang on Twitch and Jang raided into one of my streams. So, um, okay. you know, very yeah, humble yeah. guy and honestly, just the most nicest person in the world ever. So friendly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But because of Copper, that, you know, essentially ended his, yes, um, you know, YouTube yes, it's, it's algorithm like, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. it is it's really sad, but yeah, so anything that is marketed towards children. So most people will say this is marketed towards adults, yes. but it's got content, you know, they'll say like this is an adult this is intended for adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way it can't then put it into YouTube. Because even if you're completely family friendly, so LEV is a great um Lego content creator. 
So she is yeah, a yeah. very family friendly. Some innuendo, which is quite funny. Um, but for the most part, she is extremely family friendly. She's yes, another yeah, one yeah. that got influenced by it. So so she can't advertise purely for children, otherwise she doesn't get any ad revenue whatsoever. She can uh, because yeah, yeah. children participation, etc. They can't yeah. So there's a huge big thing about it. I mean, you could do your research on keep, uh, copper if you want, but that's one yeah, of the yeah. fundamental reasons on it. Yeah, um, yeah I'd, I'd heard that. I heard that, um, yeah, if, if your channel. So that's why certain people, um, even though they are, as you say, like very family friendly, there is innuendo, there is some adult. And they have to, theme. just in case it's screened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, yeah, yeah. there's in, in, insinuated. Yes. So you can, you can kind of subtly hint towards it like as um yeah. nicole said poor fella he was just extremely pleased to be in our company <laughs> exactly the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the size of his the size of his pleasure good grief <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't think Bigger he's got anything he to worry about <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah um yeah that's why um when i've done like I've done obviously a few videos now and streams and whatever. And yes, I have swore online. Um, it slipped oh, out. Oh, I have all the time. Like, but you know, so many um, times. But yeah, I am fully aware that I am building Lego. I am playing with a children's toy. Yeah. So yeah, I will attempt to keep it PG. But also, I'm an adult. I do have a very blue vocabulary. So you know, and every now and again, it will slip. <laughs> so yeah. But the thing is, so, is you don't yeah. hold yourself accountable if there is a yeah. word that comes out because actually, it's like on my stream. I've sworn on Twitch before plenty of times. Yes, I don't intend to, but sometimes it just happens. Like I'll be building something and it'll drop, and then I'll be like, "Oh sh," and, and I'll just <laughs> say it, and out will yeah. come the words. And it's just like I'm not going to apologize. You yeah. know, I'm not going to say sorry, no, but no, it's no, just no. like you know, sometimes these things happen. Um, yeah. So, but I all I'm yeah. very I'm conscious wrong, of wrong. the fact that there are, you know, we have people who watch content yeah. with their children, yeah. and I don't Obviously, want yeah, a yeah. child. I would not want a child to not be able to sit and watch and enjoy Lego content. So that's why I try, um, I try my best to keep it, you know, family friendly. Yeah for the most part but family friendly with innuendo field because some people like to fill the chat with innuendos to try and trip me up can't think god who. yeah that redmond's are right oh my god. <laughs> yeah he'll be yeah. up next to because his <laughs> cover accomplice isn't it isn't right here as well <laughs> yeah. oh see you later josh have a good see evening see you later josh <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah, Fab said the same thing. Like, she's not monetized. I'm not monetized. Uh, no. But yeah. And uh, last, last night, fans, yeah. you know, Fab used the S word. It's like, yes. it doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, yeah. your live stream, your content, if you want to swear to your blue in the face, yeah, yeah, that's up to you. Like, no one should be, no one should keep your mouth closed from saying what you want to say no, no, on no. your stream. Like, exactly. Um, that's why I. That's why my thinking behind Monarch after Danark, and I do need to do need to start yes. getting that sorted because I think that'd be super fun because there is that way. It's it's you know specifically not for children. It is not going yeah, yeah. to be a stream for children. Yes, you know it no. won't have the words Lego in the title, but for those that know will know it's just an adult's view on Lego brand. Yeah, fair enough. So it's very different. Yeah. Right, just going to show you guys. Look, we made another cactus. This was in the last um, build as well. This was in the stable. This little guy. Mm, uh, so cool. He's really cute. Then we got a little carrot ready to tempt our uh, turtle to go forward. And yeah, and we got a little crystal inside there as well. Yeah. So that's it so far. So cute. Very happy. It's so, so cute. cute. That is my word for these sets. Is cute. Like, yeah. Every set is cute. So, but yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, I won't ever apologize for being me on stream. I'm not, it's, just not, it's just not me. And as I've always said, my videos, my stream, my YouTube, it's actually for me at the end of the day. 
you know, I'm documenting yeah. what I'm building and I'm having fun doing it. And yeah. And if people want to come along for the ride, great. But it's adult themed. <laughs> so. That's the way to do it. It's family yeah. friendly, but adult themed. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, and I think as well, there are times like, you know, if you, if you, um, you know, you drop a piece, you're like, oh, for, yeah, you want to yeah. be able to say it. Like, yes, you know, because as you said, it's part of you. You don't want to, <laughs> yeah. like, anyone who's streamed with me at any point and has been in the green room, I'm the first one to drop f bombs and everything because it is i know i've said, <laughs> I've said i said some same thing to you didn't i i was like oh my god it's like the teacher just swore <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> i didn't know that they said that and it's just like look listen you know um but again it's it's being respectful to the the content creator like i would never swear on greg's stream ever like i would never do that to greg no 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 like no, greg no. Greg is is one of the, is a classic example of um, content that is for a you know T fold and A fold predominantly audience, yes. but if a K fold was watching it, yes. they'd get a lot of innuendos, like a hell of yeah, a lot, yeah. because Greg is literally innuendo filled, and it is the most hilarious thing in the world ever. <laughs> But you won't hear him use a bad word on stream. Sometimes guests do, and he never penalizes them for swearing. Um, yeah. But he has always been kept the stream family friendly in terms of the yes. language, okay. but with yeah, the yeah. innuendos, quite a few of them, so that, yeah. you know, adults can enjoy it. But well, I think that's sometimes the best kind of entertainment. Because if you think back, if you think about Disney and you think about, the good Disney, um, and we're going back a little bit. Um, they are filled with innuendo. Yes, they of are course they are. Adult jokes that go yes. way over the kids' heads, and they are brilliant. Do you know so... what my favourite one is? My favourite one is Madagascar. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's my favourite one because nobody would ever know unless they knew and yeah. it's just the way that you you know literally that particular flavor of tea and yes. it's like perfect absolutely perfect adults will think about it for a second put the pieces together and be like yeah that's so clever yes yeah 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 but that yeah the and that's where it is family entertainment because obviously there is stuff for the kids. Yeah. So you're not watching Teletubbies, but you know, you're <laughs> and then there's stuff for the adults. Oh, I, I have, I have huge. So <clears throat> I have a controversial opinion on Teletubbies. Okay. Controversial. Um, Everybody ready? <laughs> I, dis I despise Teletubbies. Okay. Because when I was in childcare, it, it, we never would put Teletubbies on because, in my opinion, it always encouraged people to go eh, eh, not not articulate their their words correctly. Yeah, because it was promoting them to not form their words correctly and yes. speak as a Teletubby would speak. Yes, um, I understand. Yeah, so it, it encourages almost like baby talk. Yeah, exactly. It encourages that, whereas most children's shows will encourage, you know, the child is... Because we have to remember, up to the age of five, children are like sponges. They are soaking yes. everything up around them. So yeah. all of the things that are around them, they, they are soaking up like a sponge. Um, and then after the age of five, that's when they then start to have that independent mind and thinking. Um, so, you know, that's why it's so... You have to be so careful with children up to age of five because anything that's in the background you know yes. if you're watching that episode you know you decide to watch die hard as your christmas film i can yeah. guarantee that your four-year-old is going to pick up on um all of those lines <laughs> yeah, yeah you know yeah, because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly because they're soaking it all up like a sponge you know that they, yeah. they, they are 
it's classed as the malleable state the, they're in their malleable stage where yes. they say that if you want to um not that you should influence a child's you know direction that they want to go in in terms of their <laughs> career path and such but yeah. you um you can do so if you were aspiring for your child to be a singer then you would you know you'd you'd surround them with all of that so then they're soaking all of that up and they're absorbing all of that so you know instruments playing in the evening time you know this play the instrument yeah. in the evening you know yeah, so you'll yeah. play piano around them and then they're, then they'll go to know that in the evening time they can pick it so small things like that so you can have an influence on on what your children yeah. will pick up and learn um again yeah, i don't anticipate it being a, a, <laughs> no, 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 a, a yeah. education lesson so yeah. sorry um Chris, that baby is now fully grown and has her own baby. Just FYI. Yeah, that baby is awful. Like, imagine <laughs> looking up in the sky and you've got this baby going, <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> no. It is creepy. That yeah. baby was creepy. Um, did you did you I'm did you also creepy. catch yesterday on Fab Stream that uh, Chris is uh, the next Dr. Cooper? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like that. And Chris like and, and Chris also likes handling an Alri. Yes. Oh yeah. He yeah. likes a firm grip on his Alri. Yes. You also hated Barney. Oh my goodness. But oh, now yeah. literally yeah, that Barney. line. So obviously my brother was my youngest brother was six years younger than me. And all I remember is Barney's line, hello again to all my friends. Like, no. You are creepy. You sound like you own a van and you're encouraging people to go and get sweets <laughs> on the back of it. Go away, you horrible purple dinosaur. Like, drive away, yeah. go far, far yes. away. Do not go anywhere near the children. <laughs> yeah, do not go creepy. near the children. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Yeah, he was a bit. Barney a was bit, creepy. Uh, he was creepy. And then um, the only thing I do like about Barney was he encouraged tidying up at the end of the day. I was like, yes, tidy up after yourselves because I'm, I'm a bit of a. So, neat freak when it comes to stuff like that i'm just like tidy up <laughs> yeah so did you ever hear the law behind again i was i was in children i was uh child carer around this time mm. but did you ever hear about the show in the night garden i've heard i, I know of it but i don't i obviously i was um, so, told, but yeah so in the night garden is a very in a night garden is very very interesting show um okay because again I, I could spoil it for people <laughs> um mainly because not spoiling the plot but spoiling the designs of the um spoiling the designs of the characters yes so essentially you've got these different characters i think you've got eagle piggle which yes. is um so eagle piggle i think is the blue the blue creature now that that imagery that you think it is is actually what it is so um there's like sub subconscious imagery in these in these shows oh okay so eagle piggle is the male appendage and there's another oh. character which is literally a boob <laughs> it literally oh is a God. boob and it's and it's subconsciously trying to get children to understand yeah it's it's creepy oh, do your research okay. history if you want to go into the in the night garden stuff because it it'd be creepy the show itself is fine like very popular yes. but the characters designs have a very intentional design and they do look oh, okay. like it when you look at it as an adult you think that looks like a boob and it's like yes it's okay. supposed to that looks like a pee, -pee. yeah they're supposed to <laughs> oh, fair enough and, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Barney's saying that creepier than Barney is Mr. Blobby, who invented the creature of Satan. I know, so <laughs> creepy. Yeah, like Mr. Blobby Mr. was Blobby's so creepy. Was like Noel Edmonds' like best creation, ultimate downfall as well. <laughs> you know, it was like... <laughs> like exactly. Like seriously, yeah. that thing was like beyond belief. Yeah, and the fact I can't believe they got people to actually do that. I mean, mm. you gotta remember that's a man in a suit. Who's literally going to go and just like throw themselves at audience members and all this crazy stuff, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And go on, go on to a film set or a TV set, like a Saturday morning TV set, and literally wreck half the set. 
Anything Imagine how like many that. times behind the scenes someone's gone and walloped. Yeah. You come yeah. on my... <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they don't film that bit. Just film him on the floor. They don't film how he got on the floor. They don't film being kicked in the ghoulies by the person yeah. who just spent two hours. <laughs> but who's not in bed? Hmm. Mr. Blobby. Oh, I can even... Th- I just say his name and like, the song just goes bing. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. Yeah. Chris has given yeah, us a detailed insight into what he did last night. <laughs> Hands are aching now. From such a girthy tower, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie and Jim. Yes. 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 I do remember Rosie and Jim on the canal boat. Rosie and Jim was... Uh, so, a, so, um... I used to work with someone that was the uh, fireman on the show. Um, he was the fireman in the episodes when they when they go and speak to the fireman. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jim. yeah. He was the fire. So I worked with oh, him. Very nice yeah. guy called Sean. Lovely guy. Um, oh, but cool. he was um, he was the fireman in the TV show. Oh um, nice. Then was a security guard. Now retired, but a uh, very very nice guy. Yeah. But um, yeah. Yeah. Um, as I always, <laughs> I always just say. Uh, my next door neighbor when I was a young teen was a bus driver and he was featured in an episode of Brum. <laughs> you know, the kids. Oh, you, uh, the... Of course. Because of course, I'm Brum surprised is... you didn't see Brum going down the street like every day. The amount of adventures Brum, Brum came to my primary school. I've met Brum. Yeah, but that's not, that's not something to be proud about. Brum's creepy. <laughs> Brum's a little car. Brum. With... You know, it, I know it's what, like it's Br- like it's Brum, like um... Brom needs to be on a watch list. Brom is creepy. <laughs> no, um... Brom is creepy. I'm sorry. Brom is like super saying, creepy. Is it, uh, not Chitty Chitty Bang. What's that other car? Herdy. <laughs> wow. Herdy. There you go. <laughs> you can change the first letter. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie and Jim were awesome. They, yeah, yeah, Rosie and Jim were so fun. I, and the, and the thing is, um, there was also um. Is it Teeny Tots? Telly Tots? <laughs> um, Tilly Tom oh, and yeah, Tiny. T- yeah. What's TV? Teeny Tots, Teeny oh Tots, my yeah. goodness me! Yeah, Teeny Tom and she those was were. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was French. She, she was, was French. Yeah, was... Teeny Tom and Tiny. Yeah, Teeny Tom. Teeny Tom and Tiny. Yeah, we're the Tots. Yeah, Tots TV. Tiny. One, two, three. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because uh, the, the bit I always remember, though, from the French, and it's so bad, it sounds wrong, but it's literally the only bit I remember, is when she st- she had a magic bag, but magic yes. bag in French was sac magique. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> I was like, sac magique. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the bit she Oh, my goodness. The sac magique. <laughs> <laughs> The song at the beginning was yeah. so rude, so rude. Before nine o'clock, people. <laughs> you you had the pleasure of meeting Mister Blobby. <laughs> you was oh my god, <laughs> wow. So when do you survive, Trev? To be honest, <laughs> an encounter with Mister Blobby. A lot of TV yeah. shows were filmed around Birmingham, and as a, yeah. so, it was really interesting. So you know how um again, friends, I hate You've to break it to you, but your <laughs> so, yeah. your phones your phones listen to you. Yes. So when you talk a conversation around your phone, it is listening. So it'll target ads based on what you've discussed. So, of course, I got recommended um, deep dive into the most controversial episode of Brum ever. So I was oh, just like, OK, OK, okay so I'm going to watch this. And I was like, OK, Brum is creepy. Brum <laughs> is super creepy. And it was the airport episode where Brum is oh, at the okay. airport. And so Brum is chasing after these two two um, villains that have stolen mm. a basket of jewels from this celebrity. Right. Um, but there's this scene where he's at the top of the watchtower and he's gone to the edge of the, the window and just like looking down at them. And it's the <laughs> angle that he's looking down. And it was just like, that's so creepy. That, that <laughs> part is just like, I will murder you. I will yeah. run your ass over <laughs> and I will come back and forth until you are nothing but roadkill. Those eyes yeah. were like, I am going to literally murder you. And it was yeah. just like, I never, ever can look at Brum ever the same again. <laughs> Plus, Brum yeah. flew down the stairs. Brum yes. flew. 
Yeah. But that that's like the Daleks, so in it, come on. <laughs> yeah. Brum's, Brum's, Daleks Brum's, take... Brum's like a Dalek. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Don't you trigger, don't you trigger Gaz. The, the Daleks only discovered the ability to fly up and down stairs, um, I believe in 2015, in the very first yes. season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before then, they, they, they didn't do stairs. But yeah, no. they got an they got an upgrade. But we we can talk about the Daleks, but we don't talk about Davros. Poor Davros. Davros. Poor Davros. Poor Davros. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. The direction they're going in, it's just a trigger point for poor gas. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Bromset. Oh my like goodness! That. Oh, yeah. Bonnie is bringing it back. So. From Lego set, the original Brum, not the reboot Brum, because reboot Brum's creepy. Yeah, really creepy. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chumming along in the old rag doll. Yes, yeah, yeah, and a good old John steering the boat. Yeah, their their lookout duck. The duck used to quack every time the guy was. Yes. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Was that you? Did you star in that? Was that you? <laughs> it was like, me. Wah. It yeah, was me. Yeah. That's my claim to fame. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That yeah. Was me. yeah. <laughs> I do remember. I do remember. Funny as it, funny um, as it is, I do actually remember singing kettle. So singing Bonnie's refer- uh, Maxie's referred oh, yeah, to singing yeah. kettle. Yeah, Scottish kids and singing kettle. Yeah, I just, I just like that bit about why you you can he shove your granny off of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that reminds me of the movie um, Throw Mama Off the Train or whatever it was called. That was brilliant. That's a good old <laughs> film. Yeah. Oh, John died not long ago. Did, it, was are you oh, saying it's... um about people? Um, I remember the um. I remember going away on holiday like many, many years ago um, to Tenerife when I was, I think it, was, it must have been like 10 or 11. It was the first ever time I'd gone abroad. Yes. Um, and so we were in a, we were in a kid's camp. So um, I went with my gran and my aunt. And so um, me and my cousin, we were in this um, kind of like this kid's camp. And they had sooty, sweep and sue. Yeah, yeah. I so this. and it was yeah. like the sooty club so we all you know we're all having from the sooty club considering we're in tenerife so you know yeah, yeah. english is uh the, the the english is is a little bit broken um <laughs> just a little bit broken um yeah. but for us it was just like these big beaming eyes like the puppets have come to see us and then of course they spoil it because when you realize it's just like like when it was done and you've just got the puppet just laying lifeless on the thing. It's like, what have you done to Sweep? <laughs> oh. Sweep is just like lifeless. It's like, yeah. what have you done? <laughs> you ruined it for me. Put them in a box out of the way. Don't just lay them on the table. Yeah. <laughs> it just like flails out. It's like, what have you done to them? Yes. Oh. Now, I used to love Sooty and Sweep. Yeah. Um, they were brilliant. And I used to love them. Um, I always used to wanted to see, you know, when they do, um, when they had the, the show, Sooty, Sweep and Sue. Yeah. And they, they had like, I'm sure they had a train, didn't they? They had like a little set and it was three of them. And they had a train that would go through and you'd follow the train from one room to the other. I'm sure, I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's true. But yeah, but um, you didn't see any actors, so it was a point when they weren't with the main actor. So obviously, the main actor always used to hold him and be like, "Oh, hello." Yeah. yeah. yeah um, but it's it just the three puppets. And it was um, Matthew. Matthew used yes, to hold. Yes, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. Then his son took over, I believe. Um, afterwards, but yeah, um, it was. Uh, I'm sure, pretty sure they had a little. They had a little setup around them, and it was like a bed over here for one of them and something else. And there was a little train that used to go through, I'm sure. And um, it would, it would, that's how they would transition from room to room. You'd be like on the train going into the next room to see them. But, oh, I always oh, see yeah. where you're coming from. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like a little model train. And I always wanted to go and just go to the set and 
meet them <laughs> like in their own like environment because they're in their own little settings yeah. and obviously there's no of people course, around it, but yeah and this is it but when so of course when i went to tenerife i was i was over the moon because i'd met them they were on a holiday yes. with me yeah then, yeah um, <laughs> then, then you're there uh, <laughs> Yeah, then, then you your dreams just are just it. crushed. <laughs> just like spewed out on the thing like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But the other um the other show that was really, really popular um was Rainbow. Yes. And that thing on the internet, that's not real. That's that was filmed off camera. That was a spoof. That was like them. Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean about their ding a ling? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. Was, oh, that's, that was that's, more... not yeah. that's not real. Like they yeah, did that. As... Yeah. So it's, many people have gone online and say, literally. look, this is what children's TV used to be like back in the day. Like, no. So, no, it's not. Do you play with not. your ding a ling? Yeah, I'm playing with yeah. my ding a ling. You play with your yeah, ding a ling. Yeah. yeah, playing with the ding a ling. Yes. Oh, my ding a ling's bigger than your ding a ling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was yeah. the thing is, is and that Chrissy's they got the to... biggest thing a link. <laughs> yeah, it's called Alry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he named his. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, showed it off as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh god, oh dear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only fifteen minutes to watershed. We're doing really, really doing... well here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. All innuendo. Okay. We haven't actually said a rude word yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Liz, stay safe in the snow. Um, oh, no. Four letter word in the house. Oh, yeah. Snow. Flying high. Is that the four letter word? Snow. <laughs> Step, yeah, yeah. Is... <laughs> Maybe she's Best. making herself a cup of sugar honey iced tea. Ah, uh, nice. Sugar. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Apart from uh, kids shows, so what was your favourite, like, animation? Uh, bar Pokemon, obviously. <laughs> um, oh, good question. What, from, from, from an animation yeah, from, side like, growing up? We're on about, so... like, back in the day, yeah, proper, like... Oh. 80s, 80s um, animation or so it was really sort of more of the 90s animation oh yeah but there yeah. were two there were two different shows um polar opposites x-men animated series batman oh. animated series yeah good choices Very they good were choices. phenomenal like like yeah. literally they were so good both of them were just so good yes. um but the x-men I... oh X Men show with 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 Jubilee and Gambit and oh yes yeah amazing I I will agree they were amazing yeah um I'm actually so, so good <laughs> funny enough I'm actually rewatching both of those so, <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> there was a one point you could buy I don't know if you can again do people buy DVDs I don't know I I mean I have TV show sets that I can't get rid of of um nineties shows because i absolutely love them and you just can't yeah, yeah. get them anywhere so yeah. um yeah, yeah the but, animated um, show is really really cool for for both of them i yeah. mean and and aren't we getting the the x-men show the x-men animation yes. is coming back isn't it yes. x-men 97 is coming back yeah yeah because um they're kind of like it was very kind of like just cut off kind of mm. it wasn't really finished off very well um yeah, but X Men, the X Men show, like you say, like, and the Batman show. I mean, love Batman, you know. Um, ever since, as I've said before, the nineteen eighty nine Batman is my Batman, and obviously the nineties Batman that came after that, the animated show. Uh, Danny Elfman did all the music. It was very much like that spawned kind of that animated series of Batman. Mm. So, um, yeah, so Batman was a big influence. Uh, on me growing up, if I put these feet on upside down, oh, I did the back. same thing. <laughs> I did, I did the same thing. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, his feet are on or backwards. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's, it's just the instructions throw you a wobbly, throw you yeah. in a, uh, in tears. His toes, it, it, his yeah. toes are facing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't mind. <laughs> no, 
Um, but yeah, and uh, the the uh, I was gonna say, and X Men, yeah, X Men is definitely kind of one of the my gateways into Marvel. Uh, that mm. animated series, definitely, yeah, and, absolutely. Um, and, and that's Xavier of, that I yeah. know. Yes, yeah, and because of that as well, those shows. Um, um, I then got into watching stuff like the Marvel Action Hour. I don't know if you remember that. That was on um, very vaguely, Netflix. yeah, uh, not Netflix. Uh, what was it called? Cartoon Network or something? Um, yeah, it was um, an hour, and it was two random episodes, completely random. Like you did, they weren't like set, but you'd have like a half hour of Invincible Iron Man, and then half hour of Incredible Hulk or something. The two animated shows, or one week you'd get Fantastic Four, and uh, not expect that at its main show, but you know, maybe like a Spider Man thing or something, or mm-hmm. you know, yeah. And um, yeah, I used to uh, love that, and I used to rush home specifically just to try and get those um, those shows on the TV. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, the 90s comic book stuff, as I say, it's probably what mostly got me into comic books today. But um, the other thing I definitely loved as a kid growing up animation-wise was uh, Transformers. And I think I've said it, I've said it before, but I've got my original, D, uh, not DVDs, VHS. I've got three VHS Transformer tapes on my shelf, and I will never, ever get rid of them mm. because they were mine from when I was like, three or four years old it's yeah. like and you'll never watch them because obviously the degradation um, of the film they're just permanently yeah yeah, yeah i mean nowadays anyway you'd, you'd just get the digital version and watch it if you wanted to go back and watch you would it. never yeah. try and play that again because by the time you'd put that through it would just disintegrate and you just yeah. yeah and what i've noticed i don't know if you've noticed this as well but because obviously people our age are the Lego designers of today and the movie it's, makers of today. That's why we're getting so all the, yeah, yeah. All of we're our so nostalgic children stuff yes. is now coming into mainstream media. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So we're, we're very fortunate as a generation because our generation have now got to the stage where, as you said, they're the ones that are designing yes. the stuff around their childhood and bringing back their childhood things. It's yes. so cool. So I was born in 85. So the year of Back to the Future. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was, um, uh, I'm a little older. <laughs> we know how I'm... old you are. You did a celebratory yes! stream. Yeah. You're fine. Eighty three. So year of return of the Jedi. Yeah. He so, yeah. He was born in eighty three. People. He's not yeah. aged eighty three. <laughs> you said eighty three. People yeah, might get yeah. a bit confused. Yes, born in nineteen eighty three. So. Yeah. yeah. So it's so the 80s babies. 80s. Yeah. Yeah. But it and... is it's it is really cool like that we we're, we're very fortunate as in I mean I I always say that I'm so grateful that I grew up not having social media, computers, mobiles, all of that stuff growing up because I was able to experience what it was like to grow up without that so you didn't yes. have to worry about all of those things like you weren't on your phone 24 7 you didn't yeah. worry if you needed to contact someone you'd go to the pay phone and you'd have change yes. and you'd have to put 30p in to, to call or if you really wanted to get a um rollicking with a b you would reverse charge <laughs> your home yeah so <laughs> yeah so you know there were, there were ways you, that you could yeah. Uh, yeah your parents would be like what are you calling from? <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. Where are you? as if you were calling it was from Australia sort of or something. And you're like, I'm down the yeah. road. I need picking up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was, the, it was, and it was the things like you'd go to the tuck shop. Uh, I'd yes. go to the sweet shop on route to school with fifty p, and fifty p would yes. get me a bag of rhubarb and custard sweets. Yes. So you know, a huge big paper bag of sweets. Well, you know, you're lucky if that'll get you a Freddo nowadays. But but obviously they um. Back then, you got so much. So um, I am so grateful yeah. that I got to experience it because when I'm away from social media, so 
you know when there's a sometimes you know when the internet goes out and you lose all the connections and everything and like internet is down i'm just like oh well you know i'll just grab a dvd yeah. and watch that because i know what it's like to not have it so yes. whilst it's a, yeah, yeah. A, a um something that is nice to have i also remember a time without it but we have yeah, fast yeah. approaching a generation that have never had life without it They've never had a life without Facebook and social media no. and and mobiles and apps and and yeah, yet, yeah and that's why I love Lego because Lego is my switch off from yes. all of the online social media like Lego yeah, is a, is a is is a great outlet for that yeah. we just happen know, to put um, it on the social media <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I know Fab Fab mentioned in a stream yesterday she was saying how she doesn't watch or listen to anything when she's doing lego she just zoned in on the lego itself and i yeah. i am a person who i'm as i said i'm more of a visual person i like tvs and movies more so than i listen to music but yeah so i will i will literally put on a film and it does have to be a film i have watched before because i need to pay attention to films i'm very like if i don't know what's going on i need to pay attention to the film but otherwise yeah it's a film i've watched 20 times over already you know, it's like The Goonies because it's a marvelous film and I need to watch it again. Yeah. So I put The Goonies on <laughs> and I'm just building away and, you know, getting on with it. But yeah, but that's, yeah, that's like my escapism. Mm. And, yeah. and, and again, it's good to have I'm an escapism. Very much, very much, I don't need to check my phone all the time. No. You know, I know that my younger sister, she lives with a phone attached to her hand. And yet when I message her, she doesn't reply. I'm like, I know you've got your phone on you because you've just posted five messages on Facebook and three Instagrams. So I know <laughs> I know that you're there. So so there it's go. really interesting. Um, my friend at work, a really, really good friend of mine. So she had a phone. She mm -hmm. decided that she was going to switch to a classic Nokia phone. Oh, she has had that classic yeah, yeah, Nokia yeah. phone for an entire year yeah so during the day she has no social media no internet yes. nothing if someone needs to get a hold of the, her they can text her yes and she'll have that she said it's just changed everything because she was she now is able to engage in conversations during her break times and talk yeah, about yeah. you know real world things because older generations are not always on their phones so they want to have a good engaging conversation so yes. she's not tied to her phone because she gets stuck in reels and streams and so she does she hasn't had it for over a year now and she's like it's the best decision she ever made and you just think i think we all need that sometimes to be able to yes. go you know what i didn't have this growing up yeah, yeah. i still grew up i still lived my yeah. life i didn't need it so yeah. We rely on it too much, I think, now in life. Yeah. This week at work, I had a discussion with um, a woman and her kid was at school. And there's all this um, stuff about children now and the government and everything. They're getting involved with schools and phones and things. And I always said, well, teenagers don't need phones at school. Right. And they 100%. were like, oh, but what about, you know? Yeah predators out there and all this stuff i'm like they don't i was like they were the same things out there when we were at school and we survived i was like it's exactly the same it's not worse mm. it's only worse because you think it's worse because you you constantly looking at it at your phone yeah. like and all the news that comes out i was like no it was exactly the same nothing's I was like, changed um, if a child needs a phone they should have nokia 3210s where you can yeah. call you can text and it can be installed with a GPS. I admit, yeah, so you can track them if you need to. And that's it. That's all the child needs. If they have yeah. to have a phone to go to school, that's all they need. I think as well, it's, it's one of the things where I, I do acknowledge that generationally we're in a completely different time now. But to be naive to say that those sorts of things didn't exist, it was just we were more naive yeah, yeah. to those things. Just exactly. because it wasn't something that was prevalent. But obviously it was things that were still around. Um my worry is the social media impacts to health to yes. mental health because i think that there's so much and we're saying this on a social media platform but yeah, yeah. 
there's there's a fundamental difference here, isn't there? That yeah, but that... I haven't got my face tune on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I haven't got my filters on. You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've got I've got and some I, decent I, lighting, but you know, like, <laughs> this is it. But I genuinely, I genuinely believe that some of the um. So I'm just taking my uh, medication. I just realised the time. I'm looking at the clock, Dana. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, the so I I do understand. Um, like I would never say to a parent, you know, your 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 child should never have this because I suppose it's one of those things where it's it's something to instill. But as you said, if it's a method of communication, then you know, give them a phone that has the ability to contact them. Yes, I, I really think that exposing thing is the social media is one of those things where in a controlled environment which is what i admire what trevor's doing with tom yes is yeah, yeah. tom has the ability to to engage with it which is important because it is such a key part of their lives but it's controlled and monitored and trevor's in control of it and i think that yes that is that that is the way to do it if you can yeah yeah, yeah. i agree i agree and obviously thing about the social media the social and the the never switching off is that and we've heard it from lots of um sources nowadays is that the bullying back in the day was at school and you could go home you could get away from it and nowadays it follows kids home because they're all in these group chats and they're all on these platforms together in these private dms and stuff and Nasty things are being thrown left, right, and center, and stuff, and you just can't switch off from it. I mean, well, you can switch off from it. You literally turn your phone off and don't turn it back on until the morning. But, mm. but kids aren't taught to step away from their no. devices. No. So yeah, yeah. So, and yeah. and that's it. And I think, and the sad reality is as well. So the workplace that I work at. Obviously, everywhere you go around, accidents can happen. People can fall over. People can slip. People can, yes. you know, be in brawls. And rather than go and be that point of contact, at the first point, like most of us would do, people are filming. Yes. Yeah. People yeah. are capturing it on video. You've got somebody that has fallen over, really badly hurt themselves and needs medical attention. And you've got people that are recording that. And it's yeah. like, what? where have we gone socially in life where your first instinct is not to help the person but to record them? It's yeah. like, you know, that's a self-reflection to go, actually, wait, how much is social media, in, uh, you know, impacting my judgments in what I'm doing and what I'm saying? Because literally, yeah. I've not gone to go and help that person. I've gone to go yeah. film I've yeah. got to record them. I've gone to put this like, on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and and this is it. And and I've seen it. And I mean, thankfully, no one I know, uh, no one does it. And yeah. I know we're talking about the tiny percent of people, but yeah, you yeah, see yeah. them. You see them and you just think, what is, how absorbed is that individual in that social media to think the first thing to do in a situation like that? Yeah, yeah. Is to point and record. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Very, very sad. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think um the whole thing about it is we need better education about it in general. Mm -hmm. Better obviously yeah. education around personal mental health and awareness as well. And then um um also not to point out that social media is actually also a brilliant tool. One hundred percent. So we're not we're not saying that it's not it's not got its good points. You know, obviously, one hundred percent does. It connects people. Yeah, right. This this moment right now, you and I are talking is because yeah. of social media. Yes, and everyone in the chat is because of social media. Precisely. And, yeah, you can't we, we, tarnish we it all with the same brush. No, yeah, we're not distracting it's very from its good points. Yeah, but we do need education to keep the negatives <laughs> at bay. <laughs> it's also creating. You've created a safe space. I've created a safe space. Our friends, our fellow content creators in the chat, they have their safe spaces, spaces mm -hmm. that people can hang out, chat, be themselves in, yes. knowing that they're in a safe space. Fundamental yeah. difference is that we've created a safe space for people to be. You're always going to get those people that want to try and muddy that. 
but yeah, for yeah. the most part you've created a safe inclusive space that people can enjoy the hobby that they enjoy and hang out yeah. with friends and that is something where you're using social media for a positive thing you're exactly. using it as the the tool of its intention to to connect with others around the world and share a common interest in lego so yeah, yeah. i 100% agree with what you say the social media is a, a twofold much like most things you know yes a slice of pizza a slice of pizza is amazing 50 slices of pizza isn't going to be so good for you because you, the aftermath of it, you're going to feel yeah. very ill afterwards. So I don't know. Pale are... might survive. <laughs> <laughs> as as that man lives on pizza. He's got pizza <laughs> in his veins. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So yeah. so exactly as you say, it's very easy to tarnish social media with with a completely negative brush, and that is not the case. Yeah. I think it's a very small, minute pockets yeah. of social media which are the and, most uh, damaging, and those are the ones yeah. that people you know will gravitate towards those yeah, yeah. and discussions you know, like this where we're, we're talking about pros and cons this needs to happen more as well because social media definitely has a way the algorithm feeds you your extremes yeah so you know we need to have more i think about i don't like about slightly more modern times is everything's a dichotomy everything's black or white and it's not the world is shades of grey. The world is compromise, and everyone needs to talk. <laughs> and that is a big thing for me. Is like, you know, compromise is what makes the world go round. If we didn't compromise, we'd all still be fighting each other in caves. This is it. This but, is know, it. We've we've yeah. all seen what war can do when you've got two opposing factors believing strongly in one and the other and not reaching a common ground and agreement. The whole point of life is that you learn and you are adapting and you are growing and you are absorbing different people's viewpoints and opinions and cultures because the world is a, such a fantastic place. There's so much around you that if you open your mind to being a bit more, you know, absorbing of and, and going, Do you know what, I don't believe that, but you've given a really good tale on that like i can understand from you your passion on that subject i might not yes. understand it but i understand you therefore yeah. i have a respect for your interest and there's i take pleasure in being wrong at times yes because yeah, yeah. it's an opportunity to learn like yeah. if i'm wrong about something i'm just like you know what hands up i'm, I'm i've got it completely wrong like yeah, exactly. i've completely got things wrong because yeah. that way I'm learning something new. I'm picking up on a new skill. I'm picking up on a new viewpoint on something. Yeah, um, you I may well have mistakes. had a blind side before. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's conversation, debate opens up your mind to other points of view, yeah. and that's what I like. I like, I like looking at other points of view. You know, like like seeing yeah, things from both sides of, of the coin. And I always do, in most things, try to look at lots of different points of view yeah. you know and i think if you if you if you go too hard one way you know you're going to come unstuck eventually because yeah you'll get and it's sad yeah. there are there are always going to be people you're always going to have people around that can't quite meet that viewpoint of yours or you know yes. that they can't reach that understanding they're like you're wrong yeah. and it's like it's, yeah exactly it's like but yeah. you you have to understand that there's always opinions like i i'm happy with anyone to have an opinion on something it's it's fine you know you can have your viewpoints your opinions i will respect those and they are in kind i ask you to respect mine the boundary line is when you try and enforce your opinion onto yes. me and then make me feel guilty for not believing it or not exactly. going with it because yeah. that to me then is just like well actually no you're stepping over the boundary there really because uh -huh. you know I can take your opinion at the at the level of it is and give it the due respect. Yes. But when you're trying to impart your opinion and try and turn it in, and trying to change my views into your views, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's where I, I have... start having a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah. I do have a saying about opinions, and uh, I, I might have put this up on somebody's stream before. I put it in the it's comments. It's twenty one oh nine. So if you're going to use a bad yeah. word, you can. It's after the watershed. Yeah. yeah. Opinions are like assholes. 
everyone's got one, and some of them stink. <laughs> he said it. He said it. There you go. Watershed, <laughs> you got your yeah. our soul for the not night. The children. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, but I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do respect to people's opinions and stuff, but everyone doesn't have to agree. You know, no. you can agree to disagree, and it's not. There the are end such of the things world. as healthy debates, and you don't have yes. to come out with an understanding at the end. You could be yeah. like, we can agree to disagree, but congratulations mm -hmm. on an amazing debate. Because yes, actually, exactly. you don't have to always agree with everything. There are things yeah. you can unanimously disagree with, but entertaining the debate to talk about it. Is one of the most respectful things that you can do exactly because you're giving that other person the opportunity to voice their strong opinion on something yeah. so this is also why um sometimes on things like youtube and instagram i actually specifically look at things which go against my point of view or uh more of a different point of view than what i would typically go for and that way the algorithm isn't just feeding me Mm. more and more of what i want to hear and pushing me down a, a certain pathway so you know it's really interesting isn't it because this is very much algorithm is ai the ai is is yes so it, goes it back learns to the about it ai learns, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so it's learning about you yes. so the youtube algorithm the social media algorithm is learning about you so it's building up a a, a catalog of you know, Martin likes this, Martin looked yes. at this, Martin clicked this, Martin watched this. And that's why it goes back to the points we were saying yesterday about AI is can be extremely dangerous if it is used in the wrong context. So for cert certain artist mediums, you know, if you're just saying yeah, yeah. a picture that looks like this and you're doing it for a little bit of fun just to see how it works, absolutely yeah. fine. But you know, I have friends who are artists. I have friends who, very good friends of mine, who I've got artwork pieces from. I've got stickers and designs from who I absolutely adore. And their artwork has been plagiarised by Dali. And um, their artwork has been screened and algorithmed, which means yes. they no longer have exclusivity to their own designs because an algorithm now feeds that if someone types in something that relates to their piece of art, it's going to be used in part to create this new piece. And it's like, yes. that's not fair. That's yeah. creative liberty. And there's a reason why artists embark on an angel policy. You know, that angel policy exists on um, artists, mediums and different creators and different creative mediums. It exists to protect the artist. And it's yes. the respect that you have of the artist's work to go if you want to do something with that piece then you know you what read their policy you read the yeah, policy yeah. That says what you can and can't do with it because you exactly. give the person a due respect they created it they made it it yes, is their, yeah, yeah. it's their you know intellectual property you know yes, you can't just yeah, take yeah. it for yourself and then just go that's mine i'm going to do with it what i want that's not fair yeah. no and that's not. what ai's doing sadly it is, yeah, and um, yeah, they need to, they do need to kind of police it a little bit better. I think so. so. Yeah, I, I, I do think so. I think that they definitely need to. I'm. It's too far gone to rebuild it now because it's gone too far, which is very, very sad. But you would hope that they would start with, you know, donations of imagery, like mm -hmm. donate something to be used in it to say actually. You know, I can prove this is my artwork. I would yes, like yeah, to yeah. donate it to the algorithm's cause to help people going forward with designing an AI piece and actually yeah, yeah. have the artists feed in what they want to it, have people contribute what they want to it, rather than AI stealing. Yeah, yeah. Stealing people's artwork, because that's the other thing as well. And, that, that, you know, there, there is the argument. And I did hear someone, someone on one of the channels not not ours like no one here but on a completely different separate thing say well if you put it on the internet then it's for anyone to grab and i went well that's not the case at all yeah if i put a you twitch video out a, you know a twitch stream out i'm having fun building lego that doesn't give somebody the right to grab that and then just use it for what they want no yeah. it doesn't no. work like that <laughs> you can't just take something that is not yours to begin with 
it's no. you know so otherwise i mean otherwise yeah people would have just you know stolen facebook and made yeah. several exactly copies of it yeah 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 right yeah and obviously as we say i mean we have copyright laws there's um as you say intellectual properties ips which we talk about a lot in that you know uh hobby yeah. and lego lifestyle you know we are always on about ips and the fact that there yeah. are royalties and everything due for intellectual we pay properties. for those exactly yes. disney tax we all laugh and joke about yes. it but we're paying the you know the consumer is paying for that intellectual yeah, yeah. property in yeah. that set and um my, my sister owns a shop um and she sells stuff from it but her shop name and the design for her logo and everything all of that is an ip that she owns and she has copyrighted and trademarked yeah. You know, yeah. and nobody else in the UK can take it and use it because it's hers. She mm. registered for it first, so it is hers. You know, but anyone, anyone who, you know, it's like it's just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's no different from literally somebody walking into my sister's shop, taking all of her stock off her shelf, and then opening a shop next door and going, "Look what I've got to sell." Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. You're still stealing. Yeah. It's not yeah, yours to begin with. Yeah. It's theft. <laughs> it's, it's, like my, it's like my name. So the Monarch name. Yes. Um, there's a reason why when you go to youtube.com slash C slash Monarch, um, it's me because there is a music brand in the US called Monarch. Yes. Um, yeah, they don't get this name. This name is mine. I had it first. Yeah. But yeah. that's why I can't get Monarch on a lot of other social medias as well because okay. they've already got it. But yeah, YouTube yeah. is mine, and they're not having it. It's my name. It's Fair mine, enough. and I'm not giving it up. Like, that's yeah. mine. <laughs> You're not yeah. having it. Like, yeah, I don't I care. When, yeah. When I created my username over here, this one, boop, boop. Um, obviously, I did it based on a, a what's it called? A, when you do the, 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 the first letter of the words, um, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> There's an English word for when it. You do the da, 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 da. Yeah, da, 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 da. Um when you take the first character of each word and you make a yeah, you make a word out of it. it. Yeah. So yeah, but there is there is um I think it's like a game or there's something there's like a board game or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. And I'm it's like, okay, Madlib. yeah, but so on mine, uh mine's Madlib twenty twenty three. So which is fine, because you know, I don't claim to be the only person who's ever thought up of that word you know because it's not it's also i i know of because it's it's also ad lib with the m at the beginning you know being from a theater background i knew what that meant so yeah i was like ad libbing with an m but yeah so mad lib yeah but yeah so yeah um yeah i haven't copyrighted it but nobody steal it <laughs> but yeah but this um, is the thing isn't it you think our tiny little presence on the internet is not going to have too much of an impact in it but if you suddenly skyrocket that's when it's like you know you suddenly start getting into the millions and millions of um you know subscribers and views and things it starts to become your full-time job and it becomes yeah. your your business i've always said from the outset like um the minute that i became monetized on twitch the the monarch brand became a business because yes. the moment i took revenue from it it was very clear that the monarch brand is a business yes, so yeah, the yeah. word monarch that i use to identify myself in chats and things is my business name yes yeah yeah. and my business is monarch bricks monarch underscore bricks and of course i've used the word bricks because lego don't like you using the word lego in the name yes. so i've already future proofed my name for if yeah, whatever yeah. happens in the future but I've been very clear on the outset, like I have business accounts and everything set up for this brand. It is registered as a brand. Everything goes through the brand. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. And I've always done that from day dot of doing this because, you know, it could suddenly I could drop a random video on YouTube. Like I haven't done YouTube for a couple of years now, but there are there are videos on YouTube like, you know, one of those could completely skyrocket. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd love to, but I don't know if anybody would really value seeing a dots organizing container go viral. But hey, if it did, it did. And um, but you know, suddenly then 
something skyrocketed and then you've launched into something which is quite impactful in terms of of you know revenue coming in suddenly yes. more eyes are on you as a brand yes. i want to future proof that because you don't ever you can never tell what's going to happen like yeah, yeah. i've been on a twitch stream before and i've been raided by 160 people yes. so you don't know who's going to come in who's going to support you who's going to throw in a curveball to you yeah and yeah. then that is the curveball that you need to trajectory launch yourself completely into a different direction um and so having that at the moment we're very, we're still very quite young and s small in the yeah, social yeah, yeah, media yeah. space comparatively yeah. particularly but, me so subscribe everyone yeah okay <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but the thing is is that it's so quick for us to be able to you know overnight you know you could go completely viral yes and yeah, and exactly. and that that then skyrockets you and then suddenly you just think to yourself right everyone knows me as mad lib so i need to secure that going forward yeah, among yeah. many channels as i can which is yeah. why monarch is always monarch on that is always going to be my name on youtube because yes, i got yeah, that yeah. first but on twitch on twitch i can't be monarch because someone's got monarch so i had to be monarch yes. too which is the hilarious bit yeah, yeah. The original winner, <laughs> quote, give me that damn name. I have asked for it. Yes. Like, can I have yeah. it? They have an inactive channel. No, they. I can't get it. So yeah. I'm Minark too. And then on Instagram, I can't be Minark because it's too short. So I have to have yeah. Minark on Discovery. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I created my name out of the uh, words that I use to describe it. And then the logo, whoop, this side, here we go. This logo, which you can see in the corner and behind me, I made that. Okay, I used the logo helping design program, but then I created it and I customized it to me. And that's why you won't find that logo anywhere else. No. Nope. So that is my logo. So if ever you see that, that's me. So yeah. And, you know, yeah, if, if something identity. did happen where something became modified, okay, the name might have to slightly change, that one. But that logo will always be my logo because i created it yeah so, it's yeah. like the minot logo the minot logo yeah, yeah. that logo i created entirely myself yeah like yeah. um i took i took one letter the m and it's from canva so yes. the the icon from canva of the letter m and i literally positioned it in the center and then I thought, well, I'm going to build a bright brick wall. And the reason my logo is so bright and colourful is I wanted to be seen in chat. Okay. That's the only reason it was the brightness it is, is because yeah, when yeah. I put my name in chat, I wanted my logo to be in chat. I wanted it to be seen. You know, you see it, you see all this bright colour, you're like, oh, Mark's here. That's yeah, why yeah. I did it for. That's why the logo is so bright and bold and in your face colourful. That's on purpose. Yeah. Because yeah. I wanted it to be... I wanted as soon as you to see that in the chat, you'd be like, Mark's here. Oh, hi, Mark. Yes. You're right. So that was the purpose behind it. That's why I went Fair for enough. the really bright colours, is so that okay. it can be seen in yes. a row of things. It's like, oh, yeah. there's Mark. So that's why I did it for. To be fair, like we could miss you when you're in chats anyway. <laughs> you're coming if in going, you dared <laughs> miss me, <laughs> yeah. if you dared. Like, if I came into the chat and just, like, peeked in the chat and went, hi, and you just yeah. completely ignored me, I'd be like, Boy, <laughs> oh, yes. excuse yeah. me, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trev said the same. Trev's altered yeah. his to be more colourful. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this is it. And it's so, so good because um, you look at Fabs, like look at Fabs yeah. and even Chris, you look at Chris. So Chris has got a very bold colour background, you know, Yes. Oh. which is so good <laughs> because yeah. instantly you see Chris's face, you see that that kind of orangey red background you know it's chris so that it's so good you see fab's yeah, yeah. background of where she's got her mini figure and the background yes. instantly you know it's her so these things that are easily identifiable um just makes it really easy going forward because then you just need to go there's chris you don't need to yes, look yeah, at the yeah. I, you that one brick stud could change to chris's videos tomorrow yeah but yeah it's still there like that icon, you'd know it's Chris. You'd know yeah, it's 
OBS. You know, it's obviously he'd put, he'd put a Technic set in the middle of his new icon. <laughs> no, no, <I'm> kidding. <laughs> It's just a picture of an owl free. That's it, yeah. It's an owl, an owl with an orange circle around it. <laughs> <laughs> just with him with his hands in, just smiling, just going, mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Chris is never going to live it down now, is he? Uh, oh, that was a really good stream, though. I love the streams. I love Sunday streams. I, honestly. That's such a nice end for the week. Yeah. I should have had Mark do my branding. I was thinking about changing my branding until one of my IRL friends. Your said brand's that I perfect. Have good branding. It's absolutely Yeah, fine. yeah. It's colorful. It's bright. Instantly. I love the glittery background. Bro. So, yeah. So, yeah. But no, yeah. It's, it's perfect. It's like as soon as you see the icon, see, yeah. that's the thing is, is you can see an icon. You don't have to read the name next to it. So if you took away all the names, you'd still know yeah. it was you. And I think that's yeah, yeah. what. But yeah, that, that's the reason why I went for the logo is that the M, the bright background, it was just like, oh, that was kind of my niche cut into the Lego space yes. to be like, this is me. Yeah. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bright, colourful, yeah. in your but face. But not so subtle. Color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. subtle as a brick. I was going to say, Sutler's a neon sign. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. I by no means am no expert, but I did. I did when I when I started up the Minart brand. I did do a lot of research because it was Greg that encouraged me to start a start up social okay, media. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I I think I told the story in mock case of how I started, but yeah, 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 it was Greg that that started it. In terms of um, you know, I was commenting and i made the logo um yeah, yeah. and then the brand came afterwards but i designed okay. the logo so that i could be seen in chat yes yeah yeah okay so yeah oh cool well i've actually finished but i've been finished for like half an hour it's all good <laughs> been having a good old chin wag which oh, way to make me about. feel way to I, make me feel guilty I know, right? god <laughs> been here all night <laughs> No, it's been great. And um, let's show everyone what we've built today. So obviously we went for the blue option in the book and we've got our wonderful turtle van. Um, for Mrs. Uh, Callisto, where she sells all her dream craft goods, which you can see some of her in here on the front. And internally, if we take this top off, of the van, by the way. Calm down. <laughs> no one's no one said anything. <laughs> We've got um, a few Dreamcraft items. I like this little mushroom here. Purple gem. Purple's my favorite color, so that's always good. Yeah, and then obviously that really nice tiled floor on the middle, on the bottom. So that's our... Uh... Everyone loves a good purple shroom. <laughs> a purple shroom. <laughs> yeah. Just don't ask about my trip afterwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, we've got Matteo with um, his pencil. Might actually uh, challenge yours, uh, Chris. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that's actually almost as tall as Chris's hour. <laughs> exactly. <Ow>. We got <laughs> Grimspawn. Oh, with his uh, with his uh, with... sharp pointy rod. Yeah. Um. Here's a little Z blob, a little sprite body. That's cute. <laughs> and then here's Mrs. Castillo herself, who I think is a wonderful fig. Such, such a cool character. Yeah, really nice. I, I actually really like, I love her staff. And that's the second one I've had to build recently, but that's really cool. And she has She's a skip arm day. <laughs> yeah. No, she hasn't. <laughs> and we've got... Uh, Last Zoe with the cool purple hair, and again, mm. really nice printing on all of these figs, front and back torsos. And I keep saying it, but I, I do like the fact they keep putting metallics in these prints now, so it's really, really nice. Mm. Um, oh, they've been very generous with the uh, metallic printing, yes, yeah, yeah. I think it's become uh, working in print, it's actually become a lot easier to do. I think that's mm. one of the reasons why. 
So yeah, and uh, in the book as well, just to quickly show you. So here's our last image of everyone in the van chasing off that little grim spawn. So. The turtle van just having a time of his life. I know. Look at the smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So it's a wonderful set. Really cute. I can see why so many people enjoyed it. It's face. so fun. I love yeah. it so much. Yeah. And that, I mean, again, this printed piece, you could use his little face. You could use on so many different things. Mm. It doesn't necessarily have to be a turtle, but yeah. Yeah, so a brilliant set, and it's been a brilliant night. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> Hope you've had fun, Mark. Otherwise, you've just yes, been through been... like three and a half hours of torture. <laughs> wow, it was awful. I hated every moment. No, it's been really fun. It's been really cool. Yeah. Yes, and uh, catch up on the last of these comments. We got Lady McVick Nicole just saying, thank you for a wonderful stream and evening. Be good, be safe, and hope your week will be filled with love, laughter, and Lego. And you too, Nicole. Mm. So let's see. For you, it's half ten. So you're well after the watershed. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful stream. Take care, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the week, says Trevor. You have a good uh, week, Trev. Don't work too hard. We got, yeah, I won't change it now. And I have plans yeah. that I'm working on for not sharing details yet. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah. You keep that. We all know who you are. <laughs> so if you change it, we'd be like, who's this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, who is she? Who is she? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Actually, thank you. And then uh, Chris is saying it's been an awesome stream. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris, for popping on in and listening. And well done on getting all your PhD work done, <laughs> mm. Dr. Cooper. Yes, have a great weekend, everyone. So, yeah, have a great week. We shall see you all next week. And again, um, invitation will be out there if anyone wants to come and join in. Have a good old chit chat. It's been fun. Thank you very much, Mark, for joining me tonight. No worries. <laughs> yes, I will uh, make sure to check out Mark on his streams on Sundays at 2 p.m. on Twitch. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cool. And shall I give everyone a congratulations? I love this. I think so. I love they, they, yeah. they endured three and a half hours of us. They deserve it. Yeah, they deserve it. Here you go. This is for you, Lyle. Hey. So yeah. So, yeah. so if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the like button and turn on notifications and tune in next Monday where we will be building another dream set. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. You all have a good week now. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.